Hey everybody. How y'all doing? It is Monday, which means it's time for game clearing, but it's also the start of a new month. Or at least the first Monday of a month, which means the new game clearing remix and theme is in effect. Now, we still have to go back to February's at some point, so don't be surprised if on a Wednesday you see a mark for February's game clearing. At least once. That's my fault, I apologize. But... What we were running during February was a, a tournament we were lovingly calling Game Clearing March Madness, hence this month's remix is March Madness. We made a poll and a tournament where 32 games went in a head-to-head -head tournament to see who would be voted the game that we get to play this month. We slapped 32 games in here, and it was a bloodbath all the way up to the finals. We put in Travis Strikes again, no more heroes for the Switch. We put in Ninja Gaiden Sigma for the PS3 and Switch. We put in The Blob for the Wii and Switch. Dead Rising 2 off the records for the 360. Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360. Snatcher for Sega CD. Rising Xan, Samurai Gunman for the PS1. Bomberman Hero for the N64. 100 Foot Robot Golf on Steam. Star Fox Adventures for the GameCube. Conquer's Bad Fur Day for the N64. Battle Bull for the Game Boy. Pac-Man World 2 for the GameCube. Luigi's Mansion 3 for Switch. Deadly Premonition for the Xbox 360. Oxen Free for the Xbox One. New Pokemon Snap for the Switch. Ratchet and Clank Future A Crack in Time for the PS3. Record of Lodoss War, Deedless in Wonder Labyrinth for Steam. Psychonauts 2, also for Steam. And I guess Xbox One. Mega Man Extreme 2 for the Game Boy Color. Nightmare Creatures for the N64. Little Red Riding Hood's Zombie Barbecue for the DS. Diddy Kong Racing for N64. Mega Man X Command Mission for the PS2 and GameCube. Earth Defense Force World Brothers for Steam. Tomb Raider 2 for PS1. Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for the Super Nintendo. Damon X Machina for the Switch. Mendel Palace for the NES. 007 Nightfire for the PS2. And Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Now, you can see the results for pretty much every matchup right here on the screen. This is the bracket that people were seeing. Uh, it got pretty tight on a bunch of these. I was surprised on some of these. I think the actual closest poll out of them all was this one here. Mega Man X Command Mission versus Earth Defense Force World Brothers. 256 votes for Command Mission to 253 this is a for EDF. It was a three-vote gap. That was the closest match what? of the entire bracket. Oh, cool. I didn't even notice it did this. 57% of predictions favored Earth Defense Force World Brothers. So, uh, yeah, the, the odd one out, the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for here? The underdog actually won that matchup, surprisingly. Cool, I didn't even know it showed predictions. Are you my brother, so I'm curious. What does this say here, then? 8% of people predicted this matchup. 58% of predictions favored Luigi's Mansion 3 Switch. Interesting. Okay. So, as you can see from the results, everyone kind of got knocked down here, but the actual Final Four has not been locked in yet. We have... Uh, the first, the finals match going on here and the bronze match going on here. In the bronze match, we ended up with Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360 versus Mega Man X Command Mission for the PS2 and GameCube. Let's see what the stats were on that one. 0% of people predicted this matchup. Nice. <laughs> but there's a reason for that. The bronze match actually wasn't part of the predictions. For some reason, it wouldn't let you do that. So don't worry. Don't worry. That's actually as intended. But the actual final matchup ended up being Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch versus new Pokemon Snap for the Switch. So, Nintendo versus Nintendo, Switch versus Switch. Absolutely shocking. Like I said, the favoring right now, 58% of the predictions figure Luigi's Mansion 3 had it out of the 43 that knew this matchup was going to happen. Before that, in the final four, we had Sonic Generations versus Luigi's Mansion 3. Sonic Generations lost 262 to 229. 14% of people predicted this matchup, and 64% figured Luigi's Mansion had that one. And on the other side of the bracket, we had new Pokemon Snap for Switch versus Mega Man X Command Mission. And new Snap won that one 275 to 216. 6% of people predicted this matchup, and 77% figured new Pokemon Snap won it. Safe bets. Which means now it's time to reveal the winners. Because the final poll is run, and it has been finished. And I think I actually forgot to close it, so I should probably also do that. Give me one second. 
And so no more votes are getting in. Disabled voting now. The results are on my screen and I will read them out to you as such. Let's check how uh, Command Mission did first, shall we? Let's check that bronze match. Command Mission versus Sonic Generations. Command Mission won its first poll against EDF World Brothers. By three votes, 50.3% to 49.7. It was a nail biter. It then won against Tomb Raider 2, 62.6%. 304 to 182. It then won 59.6% versus Damon X Machinus, 40.04, 295 to 200. And then it lost to new Pokemon Snap, 56% uh, to 44, 275 to 216. Meanwhile, Sonic Generations. Oops. Guess you can't type today. I guess I'll pop this up on the screen so at least you got something a bit more visual and interesting to look at. There we go. Now I'll pop it over to report score screen. So this is where I write all this in. Sonic Generations, meanwhile, beat Snatcher for the Sega CD pretty handedly. 75.8% to 24.2. 450 votes to 144. It was a blowout. Followed up by beating Bomberman Hero, 58.9% to 41.1, 324 to 226. Followed up after that, beating Ninja Gaiden Sigma, 58.8% to 41.2, 294 to 206. Still pretty solid leads. And then it lost to Luigi's Mansion 3, 53.4% to 46.6%, 262 to 229. So about 32 votes, 33 votes. Pretty close. And now the actual match. One, this was actually, uh, well, no, it's it's a decent lead. The, the actual winning game won by about just under 60 votes. So I want to I want to say close, but not really. Sonic Generations vote count was 272 votes. And Mega Man X Command Mission, 215. Which means 55.9% to 44.1% Sonic Generations won the bronze match. Now, again, that doesn't affect any of the predictions we had done. But, that's just interesting to know. So if we somehow beat the first and second place games, before the end of the month, we will play the bronze match game, which is Sonic Generations. But I think we should probably talk about what we're actually playing tonight, shall we? Again, we've got Luigi's Mansion 3 versus new Pokemon Snap. How did Luigi's Mansion do in all its matches? Luigi started a versus Pac-Man World 2 for the GameCube and won that one 69.1% .1 to 30.9, 322 votes to 144. I honestly thought that one was going to be closer. Then we got Luigi's Mansion 3 going up against Deadly Premonition and winning 70.5% to 29.5, 388 votes to 162. Crushing its vote so far. Then it went up against Conker's Bad Fur Day, which was actually really close. 52.2% .2 to 47.8, 261 votes to 239. 32, uh, oh no, not even, that was a 22 vote gap. Really close on that one, that could have gone either way. Then it had to go and beat Sonic Generations, 53.4 to 46.6, 262 to 229. I mentioned that one earlier already. Uh, and then there's the final results. But let's see what new Pokemon Snap did instead. New Snap. Actually, I think... Oops, I would help if I spelled it right. I said new Snap, not new Pokemon. New Pokemon Snap actually, from what I remember, uh, had a tough time for a lot of its matches, weirdly enough. Except for the first one, shockingly enough. New Pokemon Snap beat Ratchet and Clank Future a crack in time. 63.9% to 36.1. 342 to 193. That was actually surprising. I thought Ratchet and Clank had a much better chance there. I know it's Pokemon and Nintendo, but still, I had thought some things there, but I was surprised. Next up. I think this might actually be one of the closest matches it had to do. Or no, it's not, actually. That's wrong. Uh, new Pokemon Snap versus Psychonauts 2. 53.9% win. 262 votes to 224. 
Again, another close one. That was actually, uh, well, I say, I say close, but that's under 40 votes. Still, felt bad for all the Psychonauts fans on that one. Then, the actual close match it had versus Diddy Kong Racing. Turns out, the actual finalists both had to go up against uh, games made by Rare on the N64 at the exact same time. And it beat both of them. Uh, but this was the closer one by a tiny amount. New Pokemon Snap beat Diddy Kong Racing. 52% to 48. 260 votes to 240. So exactly 20 vote lead on that one. And then we already know that it beat Mega Man X Command Mission 56 to 44%, 275 to 216. Which leads us to the final matchup. Luigi's Mansion 3 has reached 299 votes. And new Pokemon Snap received 187. Which means our winner is Luigi's Mansion 3. That's tonight's game. And the game for the next couple of weeks here. So hopefully you guys are ready for some spooky, not so spooky, spooky. Because it is time for a long loading screen. Wow, I thought this would have transitioned a lot sooner. Okay. Neat. Well, I was hoping to just kind of, you know, pan over to this screen as it popped up, but uh, didn't realize it was going to take that long to load, so... Oops. But there you go. That is the end, officially, of the tournament. Which means we also ran something else alongside that, too. We were running predictions the entire time we were doing these. Let me hop back over here for a second, then. Uh, where did I put that screen? This is the screen I want you to see. There we go. We ran predictions the entire time. Uh, 533 subs submitted their choices here. There's my cursor. 533 subs submitted their choices. They made brackets, and these brackets basically showed what they thought was actually going to be the winner overall. They got to choose who won every round, and the game, and the, the site, rather, reminded them if they got anything wrong. And it was honestly surprisingly close at the end. The actual winner was this bracket right here. Labeled, ironically, I'll be surprised if non-Nintendo game wins. Good news, you were correct. The only ones you got wrong is you thought Star Fox Adventures would beat Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, which it did not. And you thought Lufia 2 would beat Damon X Machina, which it did not. But fortunately, everything else you got correct. This was Reaver 85's poll. Reaver85 officially won the prediction competition. Which means Reaver gets to pick the game that starts January's... Or January's, Jesus, John. Sorry. April's game clearing uh, theme. Got the wrong month by a lot. We're just, we're just gonna rewind the year. It's been a wash so far. Reaver, congrats. Uh, Reaver, I noticed you actually wrote a game in just in case you didn't have anything in there uh, already. Did you want to stick with that game? I can give you the month to decide on anything else if you want, but if you want to stick with that one, we can. I just laughed when I saw it in there. I'm not going to say what it is unless you want to share it. All right. So we're going to refresh this a little bit, and I'm going to show you guys uh, at least the top three. Unfortunately, I had to show this version because the actual version that shows names for me also shows emails, and I don't want to spoil that. But uh, Reaver85 got first. Keon, one of our mods, actually technically <laughs> technically tied for first. Actually, it was actually a two-way tie for first. However, there is a tiebreaker built into Challenge's predictions, and it is how many polls you got correct. 
Keon got one poll too many wrong. He made three errors in his brackets. Reaver only made two. So Reaver won. But if Reaver's game gets beaten before the end of April, Keon's comes up next. And if we're sticking with the game that Reaver suggested, and it looks like he wants to, uh, we will definitely have time. <laughs> Reaver, do you want me to reveal what the game is, or do you want to wait till April? I feel bad for Keon, but also impressive that it was actually a tie for first, and the tiebreaker is what actually screwed him over. Uh, unfortunately, I have to look at my spreadsheet to see all the others, but as you can see, third place and fourth place was also a tie. But again, one prediction separated the two there. Fifth place, 74. Sixth place, 72. Seventh place was a three-way tie. At least see one name I can recognize there. Darkfire Yoshi Airbender there. I can reveal the other ones. Uh, and Vivio Runtia got sixth place there. Do what you want. I think it's funnier to wait. I'll hold off. Reaver, you can tell people if you want, but I'm going to hold off on mentioning what the game is. All right. And then 10th place was Dylan, 696969. I think, yeah, Puppet Master's 11th. Able Star was 12th. Red Reaper was uh, also 12th at tie of 68. We got another, we got a turtle there. I have to look at my actual sheet to know. Somehow my prediction got 15th. So actually, my prediction was shockingly close, too. This was the demo prediction I made for you guys to just show you how this works. And I really thought Earth Defense Force was going to be Command Mission. And since that one was only down to three votes, yeah, I'm not surprised. But I really thought EDF was going to go all the way up to the semis and then lose. But instead, it was Mega Man X Mission that did all of that. If I had picked Mega Man X Command Mission, I actually would have gotten first. <laughs> If I had picked Command Mission to win this matchup, I literally would have been picking the game we played tonight. That is incredible. Actually, no, wait, nope, sorry, I got another one wrong. Never mind, I actually would have been in third. Forgot about Xan and Dead Rising up here. I am incorrect. I would have actually gotten third. Because, yeah, that would have been two mistakes here and two mistakes there, because Keon had three, Reaver had two. I would have, had, I would have been exactly third, but we all would have had the same score. Amazing. All right. Well, I'm going to go reveal who the third place is as well. I have to actually click out of that to show you that, unfortunately. So give me a second here. Let's go back to Luigi, meanwhile. Uh, let's go back to predictions. I saw... Well, Tara pinged me on something. Actual prediction is me... Oh, okay, yeah, Montaru got uh, seventh there, tied with Darkfire Yoshi and Airbender. So that's where Montaru was. So a couple of mods were actually in the top ten. I know Gex was leading in the predictions for a while, and then... Uh, what game was it that screwed them over? I'm trying to remember what, what shot Gex in the foot. I think they thought... They thought new Pokemon Snap was going to lose to Diddy Kong Racing. Apologies if I'm a bit late. Was the reason a JRPG was on the list explained even in brief? I'm still curious about that. Oh, I just wanted to play Command Mission. That was it. I picked Command Mission. And uh, Edo picked Lufia 2. So we had two RPGs on there because I needed... So I, to explain the bracket, the 32 games came from four different categories. Eight were picked specifically by me, like games I wanted to do. Eight were picked from the uh, sub-choice list. Eight were picked from the mod choice list, and eight were suggested by the fortune cookie. The final four games, two of them were mod choices. One was mine, and one was actually a, a sub choice. My choice out of the remaining four was Command Mission. Uh, Sonic Generations was a mod choice. And who actually picked the final two? I'm trying to remember which was which. Give me one second. New Pokemon Snap was actually the sub-choice, so this is actually a mod choice we're playing right now. I do believe this is Albino Shamrock's choice. It sure was. 
Luigi's Mansion 3, they wrote in, my picks are either spooky or collectathons. I'm really good at this, I swear. My mom said so. <laughs> that was the note I got for the game. If you're wondering what set had what games, I picked Rising Xan, Samurai Gunman, Little Red Riding Hood, Zombie Barbecue, Mega Man X Command Mission, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Star Fox Adventures, Snatcher, Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back, and Dead Rising 2 off the record. The sub choices were New Pokemon Snap, De Blob, Diddy Kong Racing, Psychonauts 2, Pac-Man World 2, Bomberman Hero, Record of Lodoss War, Deedlet and Wonder Labyrinth, and Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. The mod choices were Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinstrels, Damon X Machina, Luigi's Mansion 3, Sonic Generations, Earth Defense Force World Brothers, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, 007 Nightfire, and 100 Foot Robot Golf. And the cookie choices, which were literally, I ran the cookie eight times, and this is the list I got. Tomb Raider 2, Ratchet and Clank Future of Kraken Time, Mega Man Xtreme 2, Nightmare Creatures, Battle Bull, Mendel Palace, Oxenfree, and Deadly Premonition. And I believe the one that went the farthest was Mega Man Extreme 2. Actually, I think two of them went at the same time. I think it was Tomb Raider and Mega Man, or did Mega Man take out Tomb Raider? I forget which. Either way, Cookie Conference went out first. I got eliminated in the semis, and then, yeah, and mods and subs went to the finals. So hopefully people enjoyed the prediction thing. I thought it was fun to do. I know I've got a little bit of feedback from some people that I'm gonna to try to keep in consideration for next time we do this, but we might not do this till next year. I do like this as an idea though, and hopefully some of you all did too. But here, let me get the actual accounts for the top 10 here now. I think the top three is the actual one we're gonna need because those are the ones that are gonna actually possibly get to control game choices. I think we already know the three of them. Extend selection, sort rank. There we go. The Reaver 85 won it. Keon got second. And Elo Boosted Animal got third. Fourth place was Queen Chi. Fifth was Jet Prower. Uh, I'm going to butcher this one. Uh, Vivio Runitia. Vivio Runitia got sixth. And the three-way tie at seventh was Airbender 56, Darkfire Yoshi, and Spirit of Water Montaru. And then actual 10th place was Dylan 65969. And just for funsies, 11th was Puppet Master, 12th was Red Reaper, 13th was Able Star. Can X was, oh uh, sorry, actually there was a three-way tie for 12th between Red Reaper, Able Star, and Can X. It's Andrew got 15th, so did I. 17th was Jenna Sue, who, and Gex, who were both in first place before the actual semis finished. Felt bad for them both. 19th was the Hunter Persian, and 20th was Fred Fredberger. Frozen Hunts, uh, you were 150th. What was your game choice for you if you won? Record of Lodos War, Deedlet, and Wonder Labyrinth. <laughs> Or maybe Mega Man X Command Mission. I don't fucking know. It would have been one of the ones from the bracket. It would have been a game from the bracket. Did anyone score zero points? Uh, I think no one did. Let me see here. Nope. The lowest score was seven. The highest was 76 and the lowest was seventh. Only one person got seventh. Three people got eight. Four people got nine, four people got 10, and three got 11, but no one got completely shut out. Wow. I'm the winner. Derek, you got 151. I'm gonna only do a couple quick searches. I'm not, because otherwise I'm gonna be here the whole night. Still, you got 79th. Espionata, you got 500th. Regulade, you got 455th. Raptor Boggle, you got 391st. And I'll do three more and I'll end there. Jumnies, I'll do first. Jumney, you got 66th. Not bad. 
Just out of... Actually, no one got 69th. Because there was a two-way tie at 68th. So y'all got blocked by Ketchum Kid, it looks like. Or was that Ketchum, or is that... Did he get 70th? Lunatic Fringe and Splinter Staff blocked 69 from happening. Ketchum Kid got 70th. Mario Bros fan. Mario Bros fan, you got 105th, and I'll do one more. Who got 420th? That's a good answer. Let's. That's a good question. Let's find out. Oh, that was a mistake, typing in 420 there. Uh, 420... Also doesn't exist! <laughs> no one got 420 because there was... <laughs> there was an 11-way tie for 411th. Sorry, that is a 12-way tie, rather, for 411th. So, Chill Badger, uh, Liam Wall, 6090, GBR Volt Knight, Captain McKitty, Your Pet Cat, Nick EPC, Gohan Skywalker, Gamer Wolf, Dissolution 17, Swordmaster B, uh, Games TJ Plays, and Aussie Man 314 all blocked 420 from happening. Congratulations, no one is smoking weed today. All the meme numbers have been defeated. Did 64 even happen? Oh, yeah, someone got 64 at least, so there's something there. Comet, or, sorry, no, Mayo got 64. Comet got 65. All right. I can post in the mod, or not the mod room, in the announcements tab, maybe tomorrow or something, I can put a score sheet for those who didn't look up what their actual uh, rank was. If you don't remember what your actual score was, I can do that. But that's going to happen tomorrow at the earliest, because I ain't doing it now. We're going to play some Luigi's Mansion 3. Nice. All right. So people have asked, how much of this game have I played before? Um, it's weird, because I got originally... Actually, I think it'll just show progress here. Oh, I actually need to click it to show all the details, huh? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I got four buttons, and that's about it. So I, I did a little bit, not much. I think that was my actual progress file. No, this was my actual progress file. Which I got three buttons in. Okay, so I did actually get more on stream than off. Uh, and this was the pet the puppy save I made for Coliseum. Or sorry, Rosa made for Coliseum. But yeah, so I've gotten the first four uh, elevator buttons, and I've defeated the final boss. <laughs> so for those who haven't heard that story before, what happened there was uh, a couple years ago, Reese and I went to visit her her family, her brother, and uh, I guess my brother-in-law's result. And uh, her nephew was playing Luigi's Mansion 3. So he came down one night when we were there and said, Uncle Jonathan, I, I need some help beating uh, something in Luigi's Mansion 3. Can you help? I'm like, okay, I haven't gotten too far, but I'm sure I can help. I play the others. Uh, what do you need help with? The final boss. Oh. Can you help me beat him? You can be Luigi. I'm like, okay. So I hadn't played 3 at that point. And I didn't know about, you know, like, jump, for example. I didn't know how to do it. So, uh, I learned trial by fire how to beat the final boss as Guiji. And I've seen the ending of the game. And the beginning of the game. But not the rest of it. <laughs> so, let's get a full playthrough going here. Let's start it. All your nephews are amazing. I don't know how in the world I have four nephews and they're all like ridiculous for all different reasons. Let's change the game over. Title changed. Oh, <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> you want Luigi having a nap? <laughs> Not anymore. He's scared of being woken up. Oh, never mind. Ah, fold that, Bob. Give me that. 
It says squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle, squiggle. Love, squiggle. Yeah. Thank you, Poppy. I'm not helping though, goodbye! So I think this officially confirms that both Toad's shoes and head squeak. Like a squeaky toy. Come on! Come on! I brought my pet ghost dog to the hotel! Am I getting all jewels too? I will try to. Uh, I'm not gonna ask for help on the bosses or the jewels, unless I, you know, do the usual thing like chat. I am asking this question. Can you please help? <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, don't give me, don't give me hints on jewels or bosses. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty chill. I mean, it's a Luigi's Mansion game. There's not too much story to it. I already know the main villain, but you also know the main villain if you've played a Luigi's Mansion game. So, eh. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Oh yeah, Luigi's like weird run. Look at this, like this. I know it's because he's not wearing like the polter, the polter gus, but it just looks really weird. Like this is his walk cycle. Like he looks like he's trying to power jog. Oh, one of these opened. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Poppy. Welcome to the last resort, home of the most memorable vacations ever had. The Belmont strut? Oh my god, it is a Belmont strut. Actually, no, there's, there's not enough. He needs to swing his arms more to be a Belmont strut, but it's pretty damn close. Yum. Oh, are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> you are his brother. Oh, I can see the resemblance <laughs> even under that mask. Doggy. Mario, there's plenty more food there. Just go pick more food. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Mm, hey, bro. Just, just eat the food, Mario. Mm, hey, bro. Just, just eat the food. He learned it when Simon and Richter failed to save him. <laughs> Luigi was like, "I died to death. I'm gonna become my own Belmont. The only one who can save me is myself." Something the matter? I hope not. Nothing is making you stay here less than perfect. Our entire staff is devoted to providing you with the ideal vacation experience. Hehehe. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I'm not speaking normal English. Just don't even think about it. Polter Pop! Stop Sorry, jumping in things. Yeah, look at that side strut. Look at that side strut. He's ready for a fight against the sharks and the jets. I'm just gonna open all my luggage. Can't even open my own luggage, but I can open all these other things. And I gotta, I gotta get that strut going again. There we go. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna litter everywhere too, cause I'm Luigi, number one house guest. What do you think of hotel? We take pride in the luxury and splendor of it offers. Okay. My apologies for the inconvenience, but the elevator is temporarily out of service. We should have it in tip-top shape soon. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna strut away then. I'm the winner. Ah, Luigi is scared of balloons! And food. Please make yourself comfortable. Perhaps you'd like to sample our selection of beverages? Most of which I didn't bring with me. Walter Pop, you want a drink? Here. No, I'm too busy staring at this this person here. Maybe I should try sitting down on the couch. I seem very confused and concerned. Walter Pop, where are we going? Hey, Peach. This hotel is so big, Luigi. It's gorgeously decorated, too. We're so lucky to have gotten an invitation to come here. Hee <laughs> hee. I know I'm royalty and all and have to help run a kingdom, but I want to stay in a hotel. Great. Woo. Ciao. Toad, do you need some help? Toad, do you, uh, sorry. This Toad, do you need help? Toad, do you need some help? Princess Peach definitely didn't forget to pack anything. Ah, uh, Luigi, what's up? Oh, and they're all dead. Oh, no! Sorry, I just killed my friends. I'll be right back, Luigi. I mean, aren't they on vacation from, you know, everything? I mean, I guess they go through so much. That's fair. I could see them definitely need a vacation. Luigi's gotta learn his dance moves somewhere. Hello, very not nervous human. Welcome guests to the last resort. Are you ready to check in? No. No problem at all, make yourself comfortable. Please come see me when you're ready. Looks like you haven't checked in yet. Please make your way to the front desk, it's right over there. Yeah, but I wanna go past you. You've made an invisible wall here. I'm suspicious of you. Ha-cha-cha. All right. Let's ring the bell again. Welcome, guest last resort. Are you ready to check in? No. No problem. I'm just gonna, you know, just keep ringing this bell. Don't mind me, just ringing the bell. Ah, he doesn't actually change his dialogue. I thought he did at some point, damn it. All right, fine. Thank you. Yes! Thank welcome you to the last resort! It's me, Purple Lady. My name is Helen Gravely, and I am the owner of this hotel. I'm absolutely delighted that you decided to accept my invitation. Despite none of you knowing who the hell I am, me having the world's largest hairdo, and also being pinky purple. You must all be very tired. Come, allow me to show you to your rooms. Oh, no need to worry about your luggage. Our exceptional staff will take care of it for you. Ha ha ha. You are VIPs after all. Just gonna put on a little makeup here, Luigi. Hopefully you don't mind. Takes a lot of foundation to have this nice, healthy pink glow. This takes a little bit. This puff actually has a lot on it. I just kind of put it on a little thick. Nothing too bad though. This is this is normal levels for makeup, right? It's been a while since I put on makeup. I think this is correct. I think. I don't normally have to put on makeup. I'm so clearly alive and healthy and famous that I don't need makeup otherwise, right? You think I'm beautiful, right, Luigi? Oh yeah. Okay, perfect. We prepared a first-rate experience for you. All the trappings of luxury. Shall we get going? I still have to keep putting on makeup, though. I'm sorry. Luigi was deathly allergic, but he only just realized it. Menacing grin! On the fifth floor. Still menacing grin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a hotel. I owned one of these once, Luigi. 
No, you didn't. Those are all the Koopa kids, you liar. Mario, Luigi, and Peach's rooms are over here. We prepared rooms for you, Toads, as well. You have to be away from everyone else. We hate you all. Hope you enjoy your stay. I dare say you'll remember for the rest of your lives. Ha ha ha. I'm so witty and subtle. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Weird that we got our own separate rooms. But good night. Good night. It's the middle of the day, but good night. Going to bed. Don't mind me, gotta go get my beauty rest. Noon is the perfect time to go to bed. To hit noon in the next day. It was a very long trip. Did they ever say what part of the world this happens in? I mean, Luigi, <laughs> Luigi was sleeping on the bus. He should be the most like energetic out of them all, which I guess is why he's the main character. All it took, man, if Mario or Luigi had taken a nap, sorry, if Mario or any of the Toads had taken a nap, they would be the main characters. That's what would have happened. <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio, yeah, that checks. <laughs> Happiness! Best represented with a jack-in-the-box, of course. Gave us so many gifts. Like a fruit basket. And a room service book. And a thumbs up. High five. Well, I, I can't high five you, but I can look at you. All right, well, let's go. Let's go take a hot shower after all that hard work and that long trip. And we gotta do the most important thing. Papi! Potter Pop! See, y'all had to donate for Rosa to do it. I'm just doing it for free. Rosa demands a high price to pet a puppy. Game cleared, right? Yep, Montaro's right, we're done. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go play Spectacular Sparky. But we love donating. And Rosa. Fair enough. I'll let it slide this time. Say help, help, dirty to me? No, God. Meal needs to be slapped sometimes for some of that. All right, let me... It's a fancy bidet this toilet's got. One more for the road. An LP I've seen has a counter on how many times Luigi gets scared. I hope that was in the triple digits, if not quadruple. Have I ever used a bidet? Uh, yes, one of my cousins had one. They're all right. I can see why people like them. Polterpup says, woof, time to rest. Yeah, sure, let's take a nap. I gotta open my suitcase first. Hang on, I gotta take all my important belongings. Namely, the clothing I'm already wearing and my favorite book reading flashlight. <laughs> all right, well I don't need the flashlight just yet, so I guess I'll just, let's just read our favorite book. It's called blank. Get my security flashlight. Hello, I'm scared now. 
Can I really, can I say I really and legitimately enjoy when you just screw around like this? Thank you, Servant, I appreciate that. I like, so the start of this is actually like legitimately a fun and good time to do that. Like, we're, it's not gonna be as much screwing around later on as much as it is gonna be cleaning shit and getting all the monies. Oh no, it's an angry face now. I'm still gonna check the drawers though. Is this a thumbs down now? It's Bowser's hand. And he's not giving me a thumbs up anymore. Hello. Public bathroom. I see that money there. I see these skulls. I see this toilet. <laughs> Okay, but can I still flush the toilet? Even if the hand's there, can I flush the toilet? Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Is that supposed to keep wiggling? <laughs> Is that supposed to be wiggling like that? Nope, that's physics, baby. Hell yeah, we did it. We solved physics. We have mastered the infinite wiggle. Which would piss off anyone who watched Colosseum. <laughs> or make them happy, because it would, that means the wiggling would never stop, which means the chain would never stop. Still got my funky dance moves, though. Oh no, it was fool's gold! But it was still a hotel. My hat is not garbage! Oof, more laundry. More laundry garbage. Alright. Peach's got some luggage. I'm gonna help move it over there. Just kind of make the toad's life a little. Oh, I broke that one. Uh, don't tell Peach. Don't tell Peach at all. Uh, mm, uh, okay, almost there. Got it halfway there. Come on. All right. Some balloons. Some Mario's room. He probably wants this. I'm gonna put these together. Mario, I'm gonna put your luggage in your room. All right, your room's a little cold and wet, and you ate a lot of pizza. How much pizza did you eat, bro? Oh, he had a dollar. Nice. I see Mario didn't get a thumbs up in his room. Or Bowser's hands. But he did get an origami boat. Or bird or crane. I can't even see what it is anymore. I see he also blocked his own bathroom. With a cart. Uh. I forget if I can even move this. But I don't think I can now that it's stuck on the pizza boxes. I think I need to come back later. Yep, that is stuck on that pizza box. Pizza branded pizza since 1983. Pizza didn't exist before that. Who knew? I thought I could open that one. There we go. He did have a Bowser's hand. Okay, good. Good. At least we had the somewhat the same room service. Please let yourself be caught. There's a unique game over screen. Okay. Satan, nice to see you, buddy. Hopefully you're doing good. Room services here at Peach's room. Okay, good to know. Hello, Princess Peach. 
I see you were also eating pizza and brought your giant books that just have your logo on them. You're reading books about yourself or writing them? See, I know this is supposed to be like tea that's steaming here, but it definitely looks like a cigar. Definitely looks like she was just smoking weed or a cigar. Or a cigar of weed. Peach be doing all that blunt smoking. God, how much luggage did she actually bring? <laughs> ah, I see she got the storage room for all the jack-in-the-boxes. Birds. A raven. Some perfume bottles, because she needed them all. Her broken umbrella, because she was trying to fight back. How much perfume did you fucking bring? Also can't go in this bathroom either. Eh? All right, well, I'll go check that out. You were a ghost? What? But you wore so much makeup like a normal human does. And yodeled, apparently. All about that. Well, 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 if it isn't my most esteemed VIP, I was just on my way to see you. Is your room living up to your expectations? Doesn't it scream good taste? Well, I did like the fact that I had a bathroom. Oh, I can barely contain myself. You have no idea how much I wanted you to accept my invitation. <laughs> Why is that? I'm sure you're wondering. Ha ha ha, you see? There is someone I truly adore. He's the inspiration for some of my greatest ideas, like inviting you here. Was it me, Luigi? Was it Waluigi? That jackass. I'm such a huge fan of his. That's why it's so wonderful that I get to introduce him to. You! That's right, Luigi. It is Waluigi, I knew it. That's why you're purpley pink. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Waluigi, you look very round. Surprise, Luigi, it's a me, King Boo. So why did no one find this invitation suspicious considering the last time Luigi won something? Because it had been like 15 years. I like the thing. I think it works in real time in that it's been like so long they legit forgot it happened. That old coot had me locked up tight in his lab. But guess what? I got out. The hotel owner here was just dying to meet me, so she busted me out. Pretty lucky, huh? Anyways, I didn't think you'd actually show up here. I was ready though, just in case. In fact, my vengeance is nearly complete. What do I mean, my vengeance? Glad you asked. I'm trapping you and everyone in your little vacation party in frames. Oh, I could use some new glasses. Aw, oh, there, there, Luigi. It'll all be over soon. It's time for a family reunion. Booyah! Welcome to the optometrist. Oh, you met picture frames. Oh, because you were killed a couple times and trapped in pictures. Oh, that makes so much more sense. And I thought you'd finally turned your life around and had a and an eye chart and everything ready. Take that! Oh, and this one more frame, of course. I saved it especially for you. Stay right there and put on your best terrified face, Luigi. This is game over. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. Actually, I'm gonna get, get, get the picture done. Good night. Oh, they all get a good night's sleep. That's all it took. Game's over. Luigi went to bed.
Okay, fine. Fine, we'll play proper. Fine, we'll actually try to run. Hang on, I gotta take Peach's luggage with me too. She's gonna be real mad if I lose her hat. <laughs> I'm glad someone acted in the mission complete. Well, I guess the alternative was to die. So, you know, much better. Luigi's Mansion 3! Oh, hang on. Sorry, the, the name of the actual game is Luigi's Mansion 3. Sorry, just wanted to make sure. Sorry, I missed the trademark. Luigi's Mansion trademark 3. Much better. Actually accurate. Oh, hi, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Trademark three. Older <laughs> puppy. <laughs> oh, no, I've been turned into laundry. All right, I basically can't do anything in here without the vacuum, so I'm just gonna skip through all this. Otherwise, I'm just gonna look at things and get scared, as Luigi does. Notice this emerald being put in the washing machine. Might be the dryer. Hold there, Pop! You jerk. And now the question, John. 100% or just beating this game? I mean, I'm gonna go for the, the gems. I'm gonna try to get 100%. Oh, donuts! Thank you, Polterpuff. I was very hungry. I can't eat them, though. Are there more in there? Oh, there's a dollar. Yeah, I've got two. What about co-op? The story mode has no co-op. Sorry. Uh, let me rephrase that. No online co-op. So, uh, no. Not happening. Some fish heads. Oh, hit that money. Hello, car. Here at Outback Stamp House, we are committed <laughs> to giving you the best meal of your life. With ingredients supplied by your local farmers. Forgot we had that alert. The beef oru, we promise that you will enjoy every bite of your order. If you go for the deluxe options, our special. Oh yeah, Outback Stab House. Make sure your comfort is at maximum for the duration of your visit. And with our new delivery service, we can bring the delicious food and pain you expect to the comfort of your own home. Try our special chicken fingers deal: ten chickens for one finger. So come on down to Outback Stab House. Satisfaction guaranteed. Or 25% off your next visit. Satisfaction not guaranteed. By eating without Backstab House, you agree you cannot sue us. Please eat responsibly. Bad Chech Pun went down Backstab House and says, Today's my birthday! Here's to another year of stupidity. Happy birthday, Bad Chech Pun. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, sorry. Didn't even read the text that was on screen. Vacuum. Cleaning my dog. Cleaning my dog. Washing my dog with dirt. Air and dirt. And jump. I did it. I broke things. I'm a Luigi. Woof. Comfortable with what you learned? Yeah. I blame you for the fact that now every time I see a sign for Outback Steakhouse, I misread it as Outback Stab House. See, here's the best part for me. I don't think there's an Outback Steakhouse in Calgary. So I don't ever see them. So I don't even get exposed to it all the time. I only hear it when I, I only see it when I go to a meals place and I only hear it when I'm on the podcast. So I don't even get exposed to it that much. So it, it's really funny that it affects people more like that. That's hilarious. Really, Steven is the plane? I mean, yeah, Steven's the blame for a lot of things. I agree. Oh, 
Bye, puppy. Hmm, I can't go up. Not yet, anyways. All right, time to clean literally everything. Wow. Okay, I can't use a plunger yet, right? I think I gotta get an add-on for that. Wow. Which means I can't open this yet. Wow. We're flashing those guys turns them into money. Let's get this, because if I do this, we get our first gem. I did it. Oh. I, I did it. I just love his. I did it. <laughs> Yay for me. Whoa. Wait, can I do this yet, or do I need? Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta steal all the money. No worries, no worries. Don't mind me, just clean it up. Getting rich. Dying trying. Whoa. I think you can just suck in the critters too. I don't think you, well you can, but I don't think you get money unless you flash them, from what I remember. The flashlight's supposed to be what turns them into money. At least that's what it was in the other games. Wow. Oh, do you, can you actually get the money with that by just sucking them up? Do coins despawn in this game? Yes, they do. If they've been moved out on the ground like that, they do eventually despawn. Uh -huh. Here, I guess just to test that theory. Yep, there we go. Started flashing. Wow, wow, and we see over there a red ruby over there. All right, well, I think we've done everything we can in here for now. Let's go, uh, let's go do some stuff. Like eat this donut, and eat that donut, and shake this painting, and find more donuts to eat. Half the bot commands are broken, any reason for that? Uh, it might have stayed off because of Coliseum. I'm not sure if that's been turned back on, or it could just be a, a glitch with the bug, or with the bot. Which would not be surprising. Hello. I see there's a party down here. Are you bringing me our, our annoyed son, our donut of a son? Oh. Oh, buddy, it's ear washing time, your favorite time. For those who might not saw on Twitter today, we had to bring Bagel to the vet, the emergency vet, because his uh, his ear was bleeding. Turns out he got in a fight with another cat, and they uh, punctured his ear three times. So we brought him to the vet, and they were like, "Yeah, you might wanna." Oh, there's tilt controls. They gave him some antibiotics. They told him us to clean it this specific way and otherwise he will be fine. It's just, we gotta make sure he doesn't scratch his ear for the next little bit and we have to put a, a warm compress on his ear every now and then to clean it up, which he understandably hates. I need a plunger to open this one, right? Whoa. 
Also, he's grounded, I heard. I mean, he has an open wound on his ear. He should not be going out for the next couple days. He still wants to, though. He's trying to get out at least twice today. So an unknown cat caused it? Yeah, I didn't recognize the cat. I saw them fight, but I thought after the fight that he was okay. And then we found out the like a day or two later. No. <laughs> Like he had, he had the wound on him uh, for a day or two, but I thought it was just a scratch at first. Then we called the vet after we realized it was more than that, and they said, "Okay, as long as it's not like, like bleeding out or anything like that, or it's warm to the touch, you're fine. You don't have to bring him in if you don't want to." So we just kept an eye on him, and uh, he was fine for a day. And then overnight, all of his, uh, his the scab that had formed fell off. And he got a bunch of like plasma everywhere, so we were like, okay, he's gotta go to the vet. And the vet told us, well, at least it's good that it's a that it's healing like that. It actually is that is what it's supposed to do. It's a um, what are they specifically saying? It's like a cat bite abscess or something like that? Yeah, so it was an abscess basically, so nasty stuff. Oh, can I turn off the tilting? I think I can. Cause I'm gonna keep turning away randomly. Uh, now I can. There we go. So he will be fine. It's just going to take a little bit. Wow. He's going to annoy all of us for days. Wow. Am I going for all gems? Ideally, yes, but uh, I don't want any help for any of them until I get to a point wow. where I can't figure out where they are anymore. And I probably shouldn't be messing around here until I get the plunger anyway, so I can actually get the gem that's in the uh, the washer. I will ask this, I'm trying to remember, is it that every floor has the same shape of gem? Yes, every shape. Okay, so that's what it is. So I know we can't look at it yet until we get the, the horror boy. But, yeah, because that's one gem there too. And there's some money up there. Let's make sure to grab that money. There's an in-game hint system for the gems as well if you need them. Okay. I've heard they're not too bad, but I've heard some are actually kind of sneaky. Wow. Hello. Hey, Cranky Pants. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Is this your plan? You're headbutting the chat. Yeah, why are you headbutting the chat? You're knocking over shit. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you're headbutting all that stuff. Yeah, nice. Yeah, headbutt all those games. Hi. Yeah, that, this is a code orange. This is very much code orange at this point. Hi, buddy. Where is code orange? Where is... I can never find code orange in time. Hi. Yeah. Oh, Angie boy. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're watching the chat. Say you're, you show your emote. Yeah. Bagel likes seeing himself in that chat. Yeah, buddy. Hi. I also just noticed how much you tilted my monitor, Bagel. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh. Mister. Bagel, if I knew you would sit still long enough, I would put you on cam, but I know you, and you ain't gonna do that. Yeah, you just want pets because you're mad you can't go out. That's what it is, right? Hi, right, you gonna sit still long enough I can at least show you on cam a little bit? Because that would be cute. People would like that. Oh, maybe we will. Oh, hello there. Why, hello there, Bagel. How are you?
I don't know if you can see in his ear here. Is it like a black spot? No, he's tilting his ear away because he knows. He knows. Hey. You can probably see it better on the top of his head there. There's like a little like scab there. That's from the uh, the bite wounds. Where's the donut? We took it off so we could wash him. He's going to have it back on later. As you can tell, he does not like it. All right, bud. Hi, right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> not the donut, father. Do not give me the donut. John, did you pick up Gran Turismo 7 after learning it was actually out? Yes, I did, because I was at the game store today because I forgot to pick up Triangle Strategy. I was like, did Gran Turismo 7 come out? He's like, yeah, it did last week. I'm like, okay, hang on, I'll take that too then. The money tree! Hi, buddy. You want to rub your face against the microphone? Is that what you're trying to do? Here. Here, talk to chat. Here, talk to chat. No? You want, you want scritches in front of the microphone, but don't want to actually say anything? Oh, yes. He does not want to mer merp by the looks of it. Donuts! Get the donuts, Luigi! And the money to buy more donuts and some Yoshi's cookies, I just noticed there. Microphone. Oh, you licked the microphone, buddy. Yeah. You're cute. Hey. Yeah, buddy. I'm sorry you gotta be stuck inside. I know you hate it. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Oh, did you get a little mark on your head, too? You got something there. Oh. Hi, mister. He's gone. He has left. He's upset. He's gonna go probably bug Reese and then come back and grace us with his presence again. Or he's gonna scratch his uh, scratching post. That too. Yep, he's protest walking. And howling. But if you need to pee poop, go use the litter box. You're in for the night. You can't go out. Oh, people heard that one. He's very mad. He's very mad. Is this the one I actually have to, like, vacuum? Or is this one I can look in? Money! And money! And money! 20. Ta da More money. And a little bit of garbage, too. Hang on. I clean up the garbage. Some letters for Smash Bros. Don't need those anymore. Whoa. More letters of Smash Bros. Still don't need that. 
some Nintendo Capri Sun raids. We might need a little bit of that at least. Hey Tim, how's it going? Hopefully your stream was good, sir! I saw you were playing Paper Mario earlier. We had fun with that. Alright, I can't get that unless I have Gooas with me. Gooas G. Well, since we're here, I'm gonna have a nice lovely sit. By which I mean I'm gonna vacuum up all the couch cushions so no one can sit down ever again. And uh, we'll run camera rushes. See you in a bit. Nintendo Capri Sun! Thanks for the raid, buddy. Hopefully you had fun. I saw you were playing Punch-Out as well, apparently, according to chat. And uh, you've come in for us playing Luigi's Mansion 3! It's our game clearing game for the month. We're gonna be playing through this on every Monday, for the most part, this month. And then uh, if we finish it before the end of the month, we will actually be playing new Pokemon Snap after that, because that is what got second place in our Game Clearing March Madness Tournament, which decided what games we're actually playing on stream. Luigi's Mansion won the tournament. New Pokemon Snap got second, Sonic Generations got third, and Mega Man X Command Mission got fourth. I forget, can I actually do? Oh, no, okay, let's get this first. Actually, I can't get that yet, right? I think I need the plunger for that. But I am gonna go stand in this elevator. One button. Good elevator. Very helpful. Whoa. Everyone's been killed! Including me! They taught them how to use power tools. And Polter Pup's rubbing his butt on the carpet! <laughs> Luigi, you're in ghost jail. Shame. So is the ghost. Give me them pearls. Give me them pearls. Come on, ghosties. Ah, fuck it. This works too. Well, you didn't move. It's your own damn fault. Thanks, Polter Pup. Bye, Polter Pup.
I've got a pumpkin and I'm ready to fire it. Toad officially murdered. He will be missed. Polter Pop, I'm busy looting the dead. Come on. Oh. Hang on, I gotta answer the phone. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what he said. Maybe he'll call back later. Whoa. All right, let's kill myself next. Ah, it's worth like 10 bucks, nice. Oh, that's better. All right, what else we got here? Let's kill my brother next. Seems like he was worth a lot more than me. I don't know how to process that as a grown ass adult. And let's kill a princess next. She was worth a pearl! Oh, and some money too. Wow. And now we clean up the lobby. Yeah, there was something there, never mind. I thought it was a run button. What is run? Is there even a run button? Did I imagine that? <laughs> there is a move slower button. Very helpful. B is B is strafe. B's how I'm doing this dance. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I can't do this without Guiji, though, can I? No, I need Guiji for that. Damn it. Okay. Well, we'll get that later, then. Only Dark Moon had a run button? Okay. That works. I thought one of them did for some reason. I didn't know I wasn't imagining that. I'm enjoying it so far. I mean, uh, I've played it before, to a point. I just never finished it. Well, sorry, technically I did. Uh, <laughs> told that story earlier, but um, I haven't seen the majority of the game. But I at least like got Guiji and and most of the upgrades for the vacuum, or at least you know like the actual ones you need for progress. All right, let's just break that window. Not one of these had a had a gem in them. So I know I think that's the black light I need to shine on that. Wow. Let's just go ahead and break some shit. Sure, no one gets a letter to smash ever again. Steal the hotel's money as payment for being kidnapped again, and steal a diamond. Will this be a future TRG project? Uh, I don't know about that. I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually did, like, the multiplayer. I think I have Scarescraper written down in our spreadsheet. Big key. Let's 
In fact, actually, if it's not on there, I'm going to write that down now. There we go. Now it's for sure in there. Push in the left stick. Uh, when? <laughs> what? What am I doing by pushing in the left stick? Wow! I think Luigi just runs if there's nothing to worry about for combat if you get him moving long enough. I think that's about it. Oh, no, actually, they are right. There you go, pushing in to run. Uh, but he's weirdly selective about it. Nope, actually, you don't even need to push in the stick. It's just, he if you move long enough, he just runs. That's all it is. No clicking in the stick needed. Ooh, a gem. Ooh, a mouse. Ooh, some donuts. Ooh, a spider. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh. Thanks for the money. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a bagel. Ooh, a bagel's mad. Hi. Hi, you cranky? Hi, mister. You're gonna be doing this all night, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you can't be scratching that. Oh, you can't scratch that. You're gonna get the donut. Oh, no, you just hate that your hair's wet. Don't you? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you're mad. Uh-huh. I can hear you being mad. Bailey, you all right? Hi. Yeah, you okay? Just knocking over shit. Hi. He's so mad. <laughs> Bagel, stop knocking over stuff. Yeah. You can't go out, buddy. I'm sorry. Don't make us get the donut again. Hi. He's just knocking over shit. Oh, he's so mad. Hey, buddy. Mister, I can give you some pets. That's the best I can do, okay? All right, I eventually have to go this way anyway, so let's... <laughs> what are you even knocking over now? Hi. Oh no, an old man! Oh well, I guess I'll leave. I should probably just get that done and then we're gonna have to go to break after that. <laughs> hey, buddy! <laughs> that old man's probably fine. I'm just gonna do some housekeeping while I'm here. Gotta empty out the garbage. Gotta turn the old chandelier bit. Oh, yeah. Aha! Bagel, what are you fighting? Oh, let's grab this. Bagel, what are you batting at? Oh, you found my rubber bands. Oh, no, you can't have that. I'm sorry, you're mad, but you can't have those. No rubber bands for Bagel. Sorry. Mister, I can't keep petting you all night. I gotta work. Hi. Don't you look at me like that with your eye. Don't you give me that silly eye. 
I know you're mad. He hates being trapped in here. He loves being able to, to run free in the neighborhood and not being able to do that is killing him on the inside. Or at least that's what he thinks it's doing. If anything, he's probably looking for revenge against the cat that got him. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you're a little fluff ball of revenge. You want to go take out that other cat, don't you? But yeah, you gotta, you gotta stay in. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You're gonna try to butter me up, aren't you? That's what you're doing. You're rolling around looking cute to me, trying to get me to let you out. And you got an open wound on your head. Because you are a dumb boy. You are very stupid at times. You don't know what's healthy for you. Yeah, cow is healthy for you, Bagel. You should have cow. Go have cow, Bagel. Bagel is a himbo? I agree. I agree. Bagel, total himbo. He's got that energy. He's lying upside down on my desk, just looking absolutely pissed off. Key needed. Does Bagel see in HD? Probably not with just one eye. If I had to wager a guess. All right, let's see. We got the janitor's closet, the perfume room, Kitchen, the dining hall, the bathrooms, the archery range. Let's go get all gussied up. Put on my nice fur coat. Or put it in my vacuum, you know, same thing. Money! They just left it lying around like suckers. Now my vacuum's rich and they're not. Can you blame him? He lost a fight and can't return for round two. He has the other cat gloating. Plus he needs to find his buddy Lox so he can uh, be Bagel and Lox again. Oh, Bagel probably... He probably would go find that other cat knowing him. Instead, he's drinking my water, which means I'm gonna have to go get a new glass after this. Once we go to break. He's also gonna knock it over. What? Hi, you leaving? Can I have my desk back now? Thank you. Bagel, okay, maybe you need some weed. We need some cat weed to calm down. Alright, well, I cleaned up everything I can do here for now. Well, except for this. Ta-da! Just gotta whip that back into existence, but I gotta do that later. Cause I also can't get this yet either. Let's go get that light. Uh, uh, oh no! Luigi's wanted! <laughs> Yoink! Yeah. 
And done. Oh, yes. What's the injury he has? Uh, three puncture wounds in his in his ear, all from a cat bite. Nothing nice of the wanted posters to actually have money in them. No sign of hearing damage, right? No. Thankfully, it's all in like the actual ear. It's like the the ear flap itself. It's not in the canal. But two puncture wounds were uh, outside, and one was inside, which was honestly impressive more than anything. Hi, Polter Pup. I'm busy. I'm busy stealing all these ghosts' money. I know, Polter Pup, but I'm busy stealing. I have to pay for all your pet chow. All your ghost chow, all your ghost food. The only way I can do that is by ransacking hotels. It's the only way. What company would sell ghost food? Oh, EGAD. EGAD probably started a pet food company just for ghosts. Because that's the only damn way he's gonna get uh, Luigi to actually do something is to let him keep Holter Pup as a pet. Fine, fine, we'll get the damn thing. Oh, uh, oh. Hmm? <laughs> a light bulb, okay. Ho ho, yeah, let's do it. Uh -huh. Strobe lights, hooray! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, more money! Oh, and a tutorial too! Oh, yeah. You got it! Money stealing can happen now! Time to steal everything they've got. All the gold bars they hide in all their chairs. All right, I forgot I gotta vacuum those up. Perfect. Remember, folks, if you ever see spiders, flash at them with a flashlight. They'll eventually turn into lots of money. Somehow. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. Just assume it's real. Alright, before I go save uh, Egad, I'm gonna go make this reappear. Oh, it was mainly health crap. Make this reappear. For some reason I thought there was a third thing I had to make appear in here too. Oh, oh there is something. A chair! Oh. No, you don't. 
Give me that money. Oh, yeah. More money for Luigi! Finally, he can pay off all his debt collectors. He no longer has to go under his new assumed identity. He's free. All right, let's go get Egad, and that's where we'll stop. So we can go to break. Which one of these do I have to... No, it's neither. <laughs> Luigi no longer needs his assumed identity. Luigi. He's free now. As is Egad. Does Luigi pay taxes? I mean, he is a homeowner, so he has to legally. And he lives in a city, so I'm going to assume yes. I don't think he's clever enough to commit tax fraud. Ah, but is it Luigi? You're precisely the last person I'd expect to find here. Hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is you'll do nicely. Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here now. This hotel's filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. No, 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 Mario. What was that? All of your friends have been captured and they're all named Mama Mario? That's gotta get confusing for you. And you can't just abandon them here, you say? Uh, you're the same as ever I see, having friends. Bit of a handful. Okay, I'm not thrilled about it, but I, Professor Elvin Gad, have an idea. We're leaving anyways. First things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Hey, the new Poltergust G00 you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? You gotta get back to the underground garage so you can put it back, you thief! Hang on, let me, I gotta give you, you gotta get a little clean. You got a little, you got a little goop on you there. Hang on. Hang on, let me, let's just, there we go. And just get those glasses off there. Uh, well, here, hey, let's get you a little steam bath here. That should help a little bit. You're good. What do you see, buddy? We got everything in here already. Yeah, we did, okay. Oh my god, I forgot how he got runs because of his giant head. And then we just take a look over there. It's an elevator. I bet you've never seen one before. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. Okay, going the opposite way. Gotcha, Chief. Actually, I can't even do that. Never mind. We'll worry about clean up later. Let's go get some more abilities. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money and lots of it, even with all the danger here. I'm sure we all agree that money is still important. The ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyways. <laughs> if your eyes peel and grab as much as you can, you know, while you're capturing those and uh, for saving your friends, multitasking. Okay. I'm already on it, Chief. What is the cutoff for getting the actual like A rank ending or S rank, whatever is the best rank? Is, is it monetary or is it getting all the gems or is it something else? <gasps> Of all the- uh, someone has removed all the other elevator buttons. What's going on here? Hmm. It is money? Okay. A mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that B1 button a push. Gems are for something else, but money is often hidden with the gems. Gotcha. Didn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on the second floor with me. They must have been taken to one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means we're gonna need those elevator buttons, because no ghosts have heard of stairs. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 
Oh. Ah. Hang on, I gotta slowly open this cupboard first, you guys. Sorry. Which one is it? Which one is it? It wasn't that one. This one. Ta da! <laughs> Wait a minute. Celebratory Beaver, thank you, John, for fun competition and subs. Oh, subs for being so flarking predictable. Fair enough. Thank you, happy guy. Oof. Being a ghost is hard work. Okay, bye. I know. I'll throw things away. And said, hold this heavy luggage and throw it at you. Here's your damn luggage. Where are you? I got something for you. Come on, I got something for you. Ah, trade off, I'll take it. <laughs> Throw that, and... Oh no, get out of here! No. That almost ended in tragedy. Instead, And fireworks. Oh, and elevator buttons. Let's go and grab these. Huh. Oh, buttons. Here you go. Got it. Got it. Oh, these are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed a ghost had taken them. Really? In the hotel full of ghosts? You thought they just disappeared on their own? But there are only two. Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the buttons? No shitty, Gad. Good thing you're a professor. No matter, let's go to my car. I got something very interesting that I want to show you. It's called gasoline. It'll invigorate Mario Kart games from here on out. Oh, I'm aware of the uh, kind of cosmos. I'm aware of the the slam thing. I'm just doing the timing wrong. I'm aware of the fifth slam. It's a turtle shell, Luigi. You didn't make it, and you can't eat it or vacuum it. I'm relatively new to Twitch. How often do you stream, or do I just need to check your Twitter more often? Uh, I, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. At the same time, around 8 o'clock Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Till about 2 a.m. So I stream for about six hours every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Coliseum messed up the, the timing more or less, but usually it is those three. Wow, a house! I've never seen that before. And I've seen everything, including a ghost dog. Oh, I thought he gave me the plunger now. 
I didn't even have to go in to get it. No, I do. All right. Well, whatever. Thank you, dog. You've done a great service. Wow. Oh. You stream on three days simultaneously? Yeah, I, I defy all, like, wow. time and space. How else do you think I have all the alts? Will there be a disc only tomorrow? No. Um, that's why we did the segment during Coliseum, because we knew during Chaos Cookie that there would be something close enough to uh, disc only that we didn't need to do it this this month. And that's what disc not here was. Hey, 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 welcome to my lab. This is another of my brilliant inventions, a portable laboratory. It's sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. I always knew I'd need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, a nice house. Thanks to air conditioning. Hmm, you want to know what I'm doing in this hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was kidnapped like you, you idiot. I was tricked. I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass upon such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection, which I brought with me for some weird reason. Ugh, that includes all those ghosts you'd worked so hard to catch for me before. I basically made the first two games completely obsolete. Ha ha! Even King Boo, losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. I have his trading cards. And his amiibo. What? They've released King Boo? I can't believe I didn't see that coming from a mile away. Ugh, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you're our only hope against all odds without any hesitation and at any cost. Get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? Okay. Popping in the old container. All right, keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so that you can view the ghosts that you've captured. Uh. That's all it took was a couple clicks on the up arrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm? What's with that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh, did you want something nice and new and shiny to help you out? And forget you. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. Yeah, because I don't care for anyone in my life. I thought you figured that out by now. Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you'll need to explore this hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. A plunger. And the virtual boo. I call it the virtual boo. VB for short. I got some of you game crap for the amiibo thing. When they do this shit all the time, I am not making a bad pun. I am literally just saying what the game would have called it. <laughs> got it. Got it. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and not on my face, because I like having vision. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know. Wow. You, you just ignore the fact that you're dressed in green. Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. I'll fly off the shelves! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're supposed to be above that. We expect more from you, John. I said I'm allowed one. You can use the VB to communicate with me at any time. Hey, maybe we can test out the communication system later. Press plus to look into the VB. It'll display your current objective for you, too. It's quite useful. I want to have one more thing to give you. A smug look. Oh, and this. The very first thing you'll need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? Nice. As for what it is, I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. And for the elevator, I'm counting on you, Luigi. All right, well now seems like the perfect time to take a break. Let's look at our nice blood red map. As you know, I'm the leading authority on ghost research, Luigi. It can only be fate that we would meet again under these circumstances. You know, us both being kidnapped. Now then, get moving and use the Poltergust G00 to catch as many ghosts as you can. Science is always hungry for progress. And ghosts, I guess, too.
I think a log tells you all the, yeah, the last things, your objectives. What achievements we've done, which apparently is none, which is fair. Do we need to do all the achievements? I forget. No, yes, no, no, I don't think so, no, no. Found all the haunted objects in the second floor dressing room. Oh, we already got an achievement. Oh, there's a lot of these. There's one, there's a set for every floor, isn't there? A battle. Mystery, okay. If you're crazy, sure. I'm not that crazy. All right, I can't buy upgrades yet. All right, let's see the ghosts we've gotten so far. Go to go to ghosts, please. There we go. Ghosts. Goob. Steward. That's it. Actually, no, we got a because they're probably on a rare ghost, right? Wait, what's the what's the money ghost under? Rare ghosts are multiplayer exclusive. Ah, okay. You know full well with that when Emil LPs this, he'll go for everything. Yeah, exactly. He'll do that, and more power to him. He can do that. This ain't an LP. This is just a playthrough. All right, how's our gems looking? In the basement, we got two of them. On the question mark floor, we've got one. And on the question mark floor, we've gotten two. And we got a lot more to go. Special content. Screen park music. EGAD selection. And, oh, there's some stuff. What's my favorite basement song? Let's listen to basement track six. So to clarify, you are beating this game tonight? God, no, we're not we're gonna be able to beat this tonight. We're gonna be beating this we're gonna be playing this over the next couple of Mondays. I can't believe he made his own projector. All right, let me throw in the old prologue floppy disk. Beauty. Peach's van slash bus. Pictures. The entryway. Luggage. The entrance. And all the other side rooms, including the happy sign in Luigi's in Luigi's room. And slapping the old Grand Lobby one as well. Ah, the dressing room. Ah, the actual lobby. Ah, the actual lobby, but different. Ah, Egad's car. Ah, the parking garage. Ah, Stewart. Throwing out his ghost back. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a bunch of custom flashlights you can get. So I got the Polterpup one, because I think that's just what you get for buying the DLC for the game. Alright, well, let's leave. And pause, because we're going to break. Enjoy the Red Virtual Boy as we head over here. And drop some eggs. There's DLC, there's multiplayer DLC. Costumes for Scarescraper and the multiplayer modes and a bunch of single, or sorry, local multiplayer only minigames, which kind of bummed me out. I was sad those were local only.
Question, when you give Bagel weed, does that turn him into the new grass Pokemon? No, it does not. Oh, he's also hiding in his corner sleeping. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, give me a second to get the camera on screen. How big is the camera? Oh, it's full screen, okay. You can probably see him in the back there, next to the question mark block. Poor guy. When he when he's not feeling well, he likes to hide in that corner and sleep. So he's definitely upset. Poor guy. He's not wearing the donut of shame. Yeah. He'll probably end up getting it when he wakes up at this rate, unless he needs to be cleaned again. All right, Clockwork Pretzels, Gamer Mooney, King Mani, Spo Tulip, Captain Joe, Anonymous, Lady Andy Social, and Mr. Perfect Craig. Thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs tonight. Appreciate it. Everyone else, the list is a little too long to read, but special shout outs to the following long timers Poke Prof, who's at 98. Flying Tengu, who's at 86. Your Pet Cat, who's at 94. Colin Mac V3, who's at 84. Fox McCloud is at 97. I really enjoyed participating in the predictions. Not to sound salty, but I kind of wish that the votes didn't skew so safe. I feel like the top four were a weight class above the rest. Uh, look forward to next year. Yeah, that's one of the things I kind of took in from uh, from running it. I had a feeling the Nintendo games were going to run rampant, so I'm not surprised at the end results at all. I'm like, the, the big titles were there. So I think if we ever do another one of these, it's probably going to be a no Nintendo rule. Specifically, no, like, made by Nintendo. Which means other mascots might be there, but I might have to tone down which ones. Like, like as I saw, like, the top four were literally Luigi, Pokemon, Sonic, and Mega Man. So it's just like, okay, yeah, no, all the safe options were picked. Let's Next time, it's probably going to be non-safe ones. Letting Going full chaos and letting the cookie pick everything might be fun, too. I thought of that. But that also could just lead to one big standout game showing up, and as a result, it wins, so. That's how it be sometimes. Uh, so that was Fox McCloud at 97. Raikyu at 86. Czar of Wind, who's at the big old hundo. And Gadzooks is at 69. I'm just going to give you a special nice shout out for that. All right. Thanks for seven folks and hanging out as long as y'all have. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Put those off. What's in the carton? Wow, there's a lot in there. Okay, so those are the Coliseum uh, shirt models that Angel sent me. We can skip those. All right, we got a bunch of repeaters here, so we've got to have uh, a couple we we won't be showing, and a couple that we've already. Oh. Hang on, hang on, something got mad at me. There we go. We got a couple of these that we'll be showing second break, and some that we're going to show right now. Starting with this one here from Green Day, uh oh, two, the sequel. News flash: Stephen George shocks the world by buying a copy of Meet the Robinsons for the Game Boy Advance. Poor deal or no deal? Jiggy so sad. You made Jiggy sad. Oh wow, how many did you send in, Green Day? Uh, game fan with the big flush. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Perfect place for the pause. Breaking news. Tim has found the biggest talk he has ever seen. Now, if only he could climb it. Now, if only he could what? 
breaking news. Tim has found the biggest talk he has ever seen. Now only he can climb it. Oh, climb, but it's been read as Klim. Now if only he could climb the toilet. Uh, Derek DTH with, I had to bring back this stream meme. <laughs> Sleep. Not what I expected to see in that or here. Nice, nice, Derek. And tentacle with Luigi's egg three. You will give me it. Polterpop. Polterpop. And we'll end on that one there. We got more to play next time, but let's go to break. Let me grab some co-coms and when we come back, more Luigi's Mansion three. See you guys in a bit. Polterpop. Papi. So I can clean up the carton. I was expecting Skyrim. I kind of was too, but I'm like, that's not a stream meme. The Jules Coffee made way more sense. He's joining a night of Shamrock once on. He's welcome to since it's his game. But let's see who's available otherwise. Oh, snap. Two for a baby. We're back at the groove chat. Chris Gold. Chris Gold. Boss game trade together again. Uh, at last. You love to see it, folks.
That's right. Don't forget Twitch Prime. Oh, I Twitch Prime. I apologize for uh, Hot Wheels being poop on Saturday. Might have to shelve that one for a bit. I missed that bit. Yeah, the servers sucked. Oh, wow. Ryan, don't worry. When there's a stream of Xenoblade happening, I'm sure you and me will get our chance to shine. Also, I've got something to say about Xenoblade. Oh, okay. So somebody asked a blind man to give him a sword. His response was, I see no blade. Do I ban him? Do I ban him, chat? <laughs> You're all mad because I... <laughs> You're dead, all... son. <laughs> Got him. So I'm the new Trey. Uh, we got a better replacement for him, actually. Nice. Welcome, Trey. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Uh... Better Trey. Uh, let me give you my Trey impression. Uh, boobs, 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 butts, butts, butts. My no, name is get, Trey. You gotta yell, Chris Gold. Chris Gold. There you okay. go. That's okay. the one. I'm, I'm out. You did too many boobs. Any more butts? I broke free, chat. I broke free. Trey, I just want to let you know I'm not moving you. I'm not the one doing that. It's probably maniacal. That is a nice buddy emote. I know, I love it. Hold on to that one because, uh... You know. Oh yeah, they're also right. This is the Rock's billion of Riku. There's one K, not two Ks. I'm now I'm technically Riku from Final Fantasy X. I don't know how to shoot... Wait, no. What weapon did she use? I don't remember. Chad, answer me. What, did, what rep weapon did Riku use in Final Fantasy X? I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. Yes, anybody who happens to be sub to Ryan, just spam the butt emotes. I want to see nothing but butts in the chat. Even if you don't have, like, Ryan's e butt emote, just spam butts. Hey, buddy. Why does he butts and thick? Oh, well, you know, know, just your uh, chat on a normal day. Uh huh. I'm sure that's know, not right? exactly anyone's fault in this call or anything. Not me. Nope. That wasn't me. Mm hmm. I'm sure. Uh huh. Yep. I believe. I all. promise you, it wasn't me. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Don't give me that. Mm hmm. Would I lie to you? Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to say it was me. Damn it. Stop it. I mean, out, of the two, out of the two, I expected more to be Trey. Thank you. Shit! I don't even have the emote. John, you should blame Maniacal. I mean, I can do that too if you want. Yes, blame Maniacal. That jerk. I don't think he did it. I'm just... <laughs> but, sure, why not? Oh my god. Oh, I hope he's still doing that one. All right, uh, where were we? Let's do alerts and then let's get caught up in art block. How far back in art block are we? Uh, about a page. Not terrible. Not 
too shabby tall. Actually, it is exactly a page currently. Nice. All right, let's quickly go through alerts. Although I say quickly, we've been going for about two hours because I, I took break later than usual because I wanted to stop at a specific point. And then forgot I like to fuck around a lot. Oops. Rio9 says, It's strange to know my Forbidden Area escape anniversary falls between two wildly different dates, a birthday for a not-so-delicate princess from Fire Emblem, and the content creation anniversary for a, for a certain man who wants someone, anyone, to give him an egg. And so far, no one has obliged. Your thousands of hours in the archive have been a bastion against rough days, along with good background noise when chores need to happen. And the live streams live up to their name, truly lively from start to finish. Yo. Happy birthday, Rio. Appreciate it. And I'm trying to think of what not-so-delicate princess from Fire Emblem that is. Is that Lucina? Or am I thinking too... Am I thinking too new? Lissa? No, a bunch of people are saying Lissa. To be fair, also, good option. She'll fuck you up, even though she's a healer. Either way, happy birthday, Rio. Let me quickly deal with this here on my skin. Moisturize my hands. And continue. I saw wow. Batman. How was it? How was it? That movie was tight, dude. Nice. I now have three dogs up here. Are they Batman? Are any of them Batman? No. Are any, them, they, are any of them Polterpup? To me, they're better than Polterpup. Are any of them Polterpup dressed as Batman? No, sadly okay. not. Sorry. I can get a Batman suit for one of them, probably, but they'll hate it. <laughs> Most pets hate that stuff. Hunyol says, is that the sound of live I hear? Yes, two hours ago you did. Dragon Pit says, in the face of my own diagnosis of ADHD, I am constantly doing research into my own condition. It has been quite the trip and promises to continue being that way. Also, have a cow. Yeah, if I learned anything when I got my diagnosis, I was like, oh, this explains a lot. But, oh... Oh, how the hell do I get past this? So, I'm still doing that battle. Glad, glad to know I'm not alone on that. Good luck, Dragon. Hunyol says, let's go. Queen Chi says, the suspense is killing me. Gra Garrett Arcane says, ah, fair. They're both fun games, and I can see why they'd be there. They can be a bit on the short side, for RPGs at least. Though, maybe I watch too many speedrunners. Well, I mean, Command Mission on a first-time playthrough is, I think, 30 hours. Or was it 20? It was, it was basically, it would have taken the entire month, for sure. But yeah, Lufia 2 was, what, 20 or less, I think? And if you're going on the speedrun, that game can be eaten in, I think, less than a minute now? It's short. The speedrun's insanely short. Uh, Game Master Tom says, Giving because it's my birthday! Thank you for what you do. You're an inspiration for me doing streams. Keep up the good work. Yo, happy birthday, Game Master Tom. Feels right. birthday, man. Many birthdays. Queen Chi says, fourth place, baby! Nice to don, Queen. Airbender56 says, seventh place, hype! Oh, who won, by the way? Uh, it was Reaver85. Or is it 86? Nice. I keep, I keep forgetting it was 85 or 86, Reaver. Sorry about that. But yeah, Reaver took it. Kion got second, technically tied for first, but lost the tiebreaker. Damn. Uh, and I said the third place earlier, and I've already forgotten it. I feel bad, but I will go load the sheet back up, because I actually saved a sheet, because I knew I would forget it. Man, I got 90th place, man. I don't even know what I got. Third place was Elo Boosted Animal. Popsky, you got... Uh, one, two, three! Oh, dude, <laughs> I'll fucking take it, actually. There you go. We love that. 123rd place or 1, 2, 3. You got first, second, and third. He's that good. Popsky got the moral victory here. Shit. Is that the moral victory? To fuck yeah, it is. See? Did you like Secret of Evermore? It's not available on any other console that I can find, so I'm considering emulating it. I like Secret of Evermore a lot. I actually played through that before I played through Secret of Mana. But I do recognize that Secret of Mana is the better of the two games. 
because for some weird reason, uh, Evermore doesn't have two-player multiplayer, despite the fact that a at almost all times you have two players. Two characters. Which is a pretty big letdown, personally. Uh, where did I leave off? Do, 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 do. Viper, or Mr. Perfect Craig, rather, says, get ready for scares and spoops. Garrett Arcane says, I couldn't help it. Sorry, that was with the, uh, the Speed Racer Dr. Weird one. Vanimal613 says, I got 521st on the bracket challenge, which is funny because 521, May 21st, is my parents' anniversary. Nice. I always give it lines up with something important. I remember having two-player multiplayer. You play the dog, sure. No, you don't. There is no two-player. That was a major complaint about the game when it came out. Unless they, like, someone patched it in, it doesn't have two-player. It, it was one of the major complaints about Secret of Evermore. You could play as the dog, but the human still was AI controlled. You literally swapped which one of the ones you were playing as. Yeah, it was a fan patch I see confirmation on. There you go. That would be it. Steel Bouncer says, and now the book that instantly kills you. Everyone's favorite. Horrible book. Steel says, nice blunt and peach. Starry Wolf says, while it's still my birthday on the East Coast, I want to grab what they call birthday luck. Enjoy the game. Thank you, Starry Wolf, for the yodel, and happy birthday. Because it's still your birthday over here. Dragon Pit says, because Luigi looks like he's having one. Oh, shit. What's... <laughs> what? What's three? 300? 300 bits? What's the $3 alert? It's not egg. Wasn't that cow? That's cow. Duh. Why did I, how did I forget cow? How did I forget cow? The one that activates the most. Amazing. Wow. Poor you can cow. tell You can tell I'm still tired. For those who didn't know, I got woken up a couple hours early today to go find the cat because he went out, and when he went out, he hurt himself. So we had to go find him to bring him in to the vet. And then when we went around after I got up, we couldn't find him after I walked around the block. Came back in, fell asleep, still fully dressed in my coat and hat and everything. And an hour later, he just casually walks back in the house looking for, for breakfast. So we gave him breakfast and then we went to the vet. Yo, hi, Wang. Bagel the Donut says, Dad, may I have donuts? I don't think you want it, son. Again, happy birthday, Bat Chechbon. I'm gonna do, I'll do countermeasures here in a second, Hi Wang, I'm just finishing up uh, alerts here first. Garrett Arcane says, you can practically taste how close this is. That's the 776 alert, the, the Falcon dies. Bagel's Rage says, Father, I require revenge. Until you allow me the satisfaction, I will bother you and break shit. Yeah, that sounds like Bagel. Bagel also says, let me out, Pops! You let you, uh, let your so I can slice that fool's head off. He wants to get the other cat. Faison Farmer says, uh, you know, with all this flashing, one is a wonder if Luigi is really a good role model for the kids. ba dum ba ba dum bum Reaver85 says, celebratory beef -aroo. Thank you, John, for the fun competition and subs for being so flarking predictable. Oh, I didn't even realize that was from Reaver. Jesus, I didn't realize it was the winner who said that. And you also weren't wrong. Reaper, I still find the name of your, your prediction really funny. Uh, Legend of Daniel says, Riku in Final Fantasy X used claws and other gauntlet appendages. I was thinking about the Dragon Ball GT a little while ago. I really like the concept of the Shadow Dragons. What the fuck did I miss while I was gone? Oh, did you call yourself Riku? Oh, uh, somebody changed my name again. Oh, uh, that'd be why. I've just learned to live with it now. Like Afro hell, my name hasn't even... I don't even know what my name is now. What the fuck is this? Hang on, what is it set to? Oh, <laughs> I think it. I think that's actually gold or proof gold in Japanese. That may actually be the case. So, can I get any confirmation from this? Because like for the longest time, my name has just been AU Man, which is just the periodic symbol for gold. Yeah, gold. Man. I am. I have. I have literally been Goldman this entire time. All right, and Afro Blade Master I, says, you mean this no for the cow. Sorry. Sorry, I have to run countermeasures. We've been being shot this entire time. 
I need to do something about the fact that we're getting shot at this entire time while I'm having a casual conversation about Goldman. Uh, thank you for the raid, Hi Wang. Hopefully your stream was good. You were talking about dice, so I assume it was very luck-based. All right. Let's go to Art Block, and then let's get back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Art Block starts right here with me being on the wrong tab. There we go. Art Block starts here with some Puyo Puyo Rosa from Junko. It's Emma Tit T. Rosa John with her huge Puyos. Could be comboed. Doesn't work. Thank you, Junko, for the lovely picture. The outfit actually looks pretty good on Rosa. It works out pretty well. Jumping to page one from Green Eye Demon King in the Wandering Zombiverse, Zombie Rosa. I think my style refined over the time from when I first drew Rosa. Wanna rad out the pools full of radiation. I like the glowing tattoo there and the little charm on the neck there. Nice touches. Hell yeah, looks real good. Thank you, Green Eye. Oh, jeez, I forgot I had this going in here. Oops, sorry, Tim. Sorry to surprise you. Next up, from Mika. Funny that this one's going up first before the one that actually was made first. Uh, Kryzeros drew a design for Proton Alina, John, with Rosalina's motifs instead of Rosa with John motifs, aka Rosa John, and I really liked it, so I wanted to draw it too. I gave him his magic nunchucks, Luma bagel, and a pink lady bubble tea. I put a link to Kryzeros' design in the source section. Oh yeah, since that is there, let's pop that open too. So there we go. I actually really like this look, by the way. The star shirt, the the like, the pink fade there to get the little Waluigi symbol there. The nice like boots to go with it. The the rosa colored like hoodie slash long jacket. Looks really good. And then here was the actual one that they did. They both look really good. I like the look a lot. Thank you, thank you, Mika and Cryzeros for both of that. Next up, John Zaburu Police Mecha Division HQ. Gespent Custom Workshop, somewhere in the outskirts of St. John Zaburu. Welcome to Gespent Custom Workshop, where if you can describe it, we can build it. How may I help you? Uh, I was here to pick up a order I made for a custom heavy arms Gundam. Ah, yes, Mr. Jonathan Winner, was it? Your order is complete. You can observe it right behind this counter. Ooh, nice. Uh, would you mind reminding me what of what I asked to put in on it? Certainly. Let's see. Vulcan guns, a machine cannon, twin chest Gatling guns, uh, 44 missile launchers, large beam Gatling gun, nunchucks, ergonomic seats, a microwave oven, boba tea dispenser, an order of large fries, a pinball table, a monkey, a full set of chaos emeralds, an order of small fries, and enough internal space for 10,000 plus video games. I'm pretty sure I asked this to be on spec for robot golf. Uh, where's the golf club? Oh, my mistake, sir. We'll have that installed as soon as possible. Jonathan Pilot John Winner. Professional driver slash pilot of anything with a motor. I love that he just looks like buff speed racer. That kind of whips ass. 
Energy crystals, Lego bricks, and nuclear reactors. Gotta have them all together. And there's a clean, no text shot of everything. Oh, you put the golf club in there too, perfect. It works perfectly. It's a nice counterbalance for the Gatling gun. Oh, but you could put it, you could put it as a bayonet though. Oh man, set up so it's like a bayonet that extends out and swings. That would actually kind of rule. So a few things. First, the whole Mecha Division HQ, which definitely isn't a giant spaceship that turns into a robot, was something that I made during the battle for the Buru, but didn't put in the actual Buru. It's an independent task force made to handle threats that are big, but not quite enough to involve the BBA. However, it is funded by my character's robot workshop. Second, a new Alt John, Pilot John, who was a racer slash pilot because I noticed that surprisingly there wasn't an Alt John based on Speed Racer. Yeah, that's a good point actually. That's kind of surprising too. And third, all my March choices were eliminated fairly quickly. I'm sad. Sorry, Spent. <laughs> Sorry. How did you rank, actually? Oh, yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that bad, huh? Yeah, no. Terrible. Uh, it was top 200. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not that Unless bad. I got the wrong you spent. I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't, because that's the only one there. They got 199 specifically. And it was a tie, so technically they could have been 199 or 200. They tied with Raptoid. Alright, next up. Alana Bizzard the Wizard. Bizzard the Wizard and the biblically accurate Angel. Bizzard the Wizard and the Man Who Cans. Bizzard the Wizard, the one with space whales. Bizzard the Wizard versus Slow the Cactus. Bizzard the Wizard and the Golden Dishonor. Bizzard the Wizard and the Goblet of Antifreeze. And Bizzard the Wizard and the Glow Up of Ding. Beautiful. I missed out on Coliseum as it was happening live, but if I have one takeaway from it all, it's that Bizzard the Wizard is the greatest book series ever. Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, Animorphs, Babysitter's Club, Magic Treehouse, I don't know any of them. All I know is Bizzard. Needless to say, I found my year-long project with making as many book covers for Busy Boy by December. I may not have a game-clearing list, but I sure will have an entire book series worth of covers as a recap, so look forward to that. Also, I did most of these in a day. Glow Up of Ding was made the next day since I fell asleep right after finishing Goblet of Antifreeze. Very nice, Jasper. Thanks for all of these. I love how some of these are just references to stuff. Obviously, Pokey, Cannaman for Tom, the Biblical Accurate Angel. The Golden Dishonor for Jiggy, Antifreeze for Tom, and Glow Up of Ding for uh, America's Next Top Model and Smephany. Next up, from VCAT, time to sketch. Hi John, tonight's micro game is a classic game of sketch. Unfortunately, Wario was the one who's drawing, so this might take a while. Till next time. For those who haven't seen, VCAT is doing micro games in WarioWare DIY for uh, all the Coliseum segments. So this is for cool. when they did Game & Wario, the second segment of the event. Thank you, VCAT, as always. Next up, yo, I saw this on Twitter, this kicked ass. Look at this lovely rose of floating in space. From Dan Phoenix. I already posted this one to Twitter. Since John liked it on Twitter, I figured I'd also post it here for those who either don't have Twitter or refuse to use it. Fun fact, the background was actually an old space uh, spacescape painting I created using Procreate a few years ago but never got to use it for anything. As a disclaimer, I was not commissioned for this illustration by John or the community. This is a fan art gift, saying this because there's been some confusion in some Discord servers who thought John had commissioned it. Yeah, I have done a bunch of Rosa commissions lately, I will admit that, but uh, yeah, no, this one was a, a nice surprise one. So thank you, Dan, for doing that. Appreciate it. Very lovely. Next up, from a Sandwich. During the finale of Coliseum, Arrow was excited. The minute after the stream ends, right to sleep. Guess it wouldn't hurt to post this here as well with the post Coliseum mood, am I right? That's true. I, all of us needed sleep. So much sleep was needed. I think I still need more sleep. But again, I also Same. woke up hours early, so. I thought, you were just stuck with, I thought you were just stuck with always needing sleep. Well, that too. But man, I needed sleep when Bagel, when we had to go find Bagel. Yo, look at this from Reds. Rosa John with the drip. Wanted to draw Rosa John in some fashionable as well as those star, or oh yeah, in some fashionable sense, as well as those star leggings you were talking about. Also included a beanie and bagel luma to keep some John elements. This is a nice look. I, I, I am in love with these star leggings. I'm so happy like artists seem to be locking onto using them. But like this whole look is very solid. This looks great for her. And I like the little bagel luma keychain. That's cute. 
And the toque looks real good on her, too. Nicely done reds. This looks amazing. That's the cannon, no. Uh, I don't... Uh, well, I, the leggings are. I don't think we've got full cannon. I feel like the cannon is very loose for her at times. From Gabber19, Hello, everyone. After cracking up for the past day or so at Endless Beats YouTube Poop, Tim's got something to say. I decided to make an artistic summary of that chaotic video. I will post the colorized version of this piece in the coming days. Enjoy. Tim's Factory, where we see a poop and cactus. We see Daisy going, I guess this is a thing now? I can't... I forget what this part was exactly. Looks like a meal or America waving at Daisy. Luigi stuck in a pipe saying help help as an actual plumber. Poop equals heart. I want the following. A personality cube says one of the states. I assume that's a state. And Tim's house has a bathtub, a toilet, a sink, and a car. I have forgotten all the things that were said in that bumper by the way. Or in, the, in that bumper edit. The YouTube poop of it. Thank you, Gabri. I can't sleep because I have a doctor's appointment in early morning. It's going to be a long 13 hours. Oof. Good luck. Hopefully you can get some sleep somewhere. Jonah's D&D character story from Ditto. I've been thinking about this since I made the character design for it, so I think it's time for my first Alt-John to get a story out. This is about Jonna, or I guess it would be John in this case, an NPC character from my D&D campaign, and this is the story of how he ends up where he is during the campaign. The campaign is titled Thieves Quest, where the players get blackmailed by a wanted thief to steal valuable treasure and give it back to him. Uh, Jonna is going to be one of those NPCs where the players need to steal something off of him, and it's way more valuable than it looks. Interesting. Cool. Thank you, Ditto. Next up, I was wondering about this. From Kitty Forest, I decided to show my work in progress of remaking the Jonaverse logo in Minecraft. Because this project is just taking way too long to wait until the end of it. This project is taking up the size of four maps by four maps. And is roughly 262,000 blocks in total. Jesus! And so far I've spent roughly 72 hours or three days building time on it. That's insane, Kitty. Holy shit. This will officially be the largest thing I've ever built in Minecraft. And I hope you enjoy it when it's finished. This looks incredible, but Jesus, that's going to take you so long. Like, here's a better angle of it, too. Just, just look at this. Oh my god. Here's another angle of the image so you can see the sheer size of this because it's of its size being 32 chunks by 32 chunks. You're only able to see a quarter of it by standing at the corner with render distance 16. Jesus, that's some fucking dedication, kitty. Holy shit, but what you've done so far looks fantastic. Thank you for doing it, and hopefully you don't go insane by the end, but I will understand if you need to stop because that's a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, uh... My art block alarm's going off, but I do want to at least get one last one in because it's making me laugh. Uh, not this one, but I'm gonna, it's one or two after this. But this is a good one too, from Ditto. I got work to go to in the morning, so I have a tired doodle of the ghost doggo before I go to sleep listening to the stream. Ah, polterpa. Very cute. Thank you, Ditto. Next up, uh-oh. I see a one year next to that tiger blob. From Merlin Cross, the first good picture I have from tiger blob is from around this time last year. Or at least that was the earliest one I could find. And given how it's become a bit of a thing in the art community, I thought I would share this piece here. Well, I haven't drawn much for Stream or John, I just want to say you guys are awesome. Look forward to Rosa John or Rosalina Blobs. Cute. Thank you, Merlin. And I guess happy one year birthday to the Tiger Blobs. Thank you for that. I am going to end on this one here because it makes me laugh because it's incredibly accurate. Oh, hi, mister. You making noises to chat? Oh, look at him go. He's so cute. <laughs> Bap. Bap. <laughs> God, it must be a pain, but I am in love with this spicy jalapeno of a bagel. <laughs> he looks so miserable. Oh, poor guy. He just looks... That is exactly the energy he has right now. Although he is sleeping in his dark, brooding corner, so... Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Thank you, Rhyme, for that. There's more art to go, but we'll get it in on the next break, because now it's time for some more Luigi. Oh, my TV turned off. Oops. All right. No signal. Fantastic. You coming back on my TV anytime soon? There we go. How well do you two know this game? I beat it last year. 
Pop. No, I'm not going to remember all the freaking jewels. Oh, yeah, I don't expect you to. Pop, what about you? Did he have to leave for a minute? He's, he's not muted. Then he had to leave for a minute. Okay. All right, well, for some reason, I don't know why the game doesn't tell you. I think it's because there's a tutorial slightly after it, but uh, Egad acted the plunger ability to the to the poltergust. So now we can shoot plungers out. And that lets us basically slam anything we want. Now we can actually go plumbing. Yeah, I think we're only missing, like, one more upgrade after this, technically. I know where it is, but we're going to have to go for a bit. I can't do this right now. I don't even think I can do this over here yet. So I can open this, I know that. But I think the actual gem that we want to get in here requires Guiji. We definitely don't have access to him yet. Not that we're that far away from it, it's just we don't have access to him just yet. You can buy so many Twitch subs with that money. You really could. There's a blue gem. We can't get that yet. We can get this pearl, though. But we need Guiji to go down there. I've thought this for a while, but how cool would it be if Luigi's Mansion was a Metroidvania and you, if you got upgrades periodically through your adventure? I mean, you do kind of get some upgrades, but yeah, like, not to the level of an actual Metroidvania. I think that'd be neat, but I don't know if Nintendo would kind of let them try that when they already have Metroid, even if they only go to that well every now and then. Anyway. What? They don't even do Metroid that often anyway. I know, but yeah. I mean, to be fair, we're not going to know Luigi's Mansion for a while. True. I'd be shocked if it did, to be honest. Like, I definitely, like... I prefer the settings for like one and three over two. Just having like one big location you can keep exploring rather than like multiple smaller ones. Well, I mean, two was hindered by the fact that it was on the, the three. Yes, like it was a hand, it was a portable game, and that's always going to be like some limitations going to come out of that. Right. For what it was, like the smaller like pacing was perfect because you could do like a stage and then you could you know go do literally anything else. No, I get it. I do prefer the setup of 1 and 3 as well. I, I am with you on that, but I'm just saying, like, I get why they did what they did. It was the same thing with, like, um, Revelations on 3DS. Like, they also had to set it up, like, episodically. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil Revelations? Yeah. Yeah, and is it the same when they moved it to uh, other consoles? Yeah, they still kept it. Like, they kind of still kept the episodic feel. It, and even then, when they did the uh, Revelations 2, they kind of released it in the first chapter, and then they kind of just released all the other chapters, like, every couple of months. Oh, was that? I thought it all came out at once. They eventually actually released a, everything on a disc, but no, I, I think it was just digital at first. They released, like, episode 1, and then episode 2 a few months later, then episode 3. I think I had five or six episodes all together. Huh. I think they were also experimenting with, like, what Telltale Games did. Fair enough. Have you played the Luigi's Mansion arcade game? If you did, what do you think of it? Eh, I, I thought it's an enjoy- I, I've played it, I haven't beaten it. But it's an- It's been, like, an wow. enjoyable, like, on-rail shooter type game. Same. It's a- it's a fun light gun game. I don't think you really need to go out of your way to play it, but if, like, if you see it, sure, give it a shot. Wow. It's a fun little arcade game. Oh, speaking of arcade games, like, man, I was busy buying, trying to 3DS uh, Game Hunt the other day, but I walked into a round one to see what they had. I found House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn, and I wanted to play it so badly. Uh, I've still not had a chance to play that yet. And of course, I saw the the Mario Kart arcade game there too. Which one? I forgot the. I didn't see the title. There's. I was gonna say there's three of them. 
think there's three because yeah, there's like one and two and then there's like a they use like a, a special edition of two as a different name or something like that something like that time is critical luigi you should hurry and get the elevator tracker installed no you don't tell me what to do old man what are you doing luigi head for the elevator no okay fine fuck fine i'll go to the damn elevator so bossy Yeah, Bleach Bummer. That the first revelations, yeah, because that was 3DS first. Then they released it to all the other consoles. I'm sp I'm talking about Revelations 2. Yeah. It's a TV screen. I got gotcha. you. Now that as to what the device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. Then it takes all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Uh -oh. Huh? Ah! Nice of them to install themselves for me. No, they're great, right? Ah. Self-inserting elevator buttons. Oh, yeah. well, it's, weird, it's weird that they got removed in the first place, though. Now you're able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the VB, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't forget, don't go forgetting about it, okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you reach new floors ripe for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. <laughs> One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. Open the VB with plus and select the EGAN hotline. Beautiful. I, he really is in the third dimension. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAN, resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? Fantastic, it appears that the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to contact me anytime you need to. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling and you'll be able to see your progress. Testing my inventions is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to take the elevator up to fifth floor now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me, Luigi? My room number is... Oh, blast. What was it? Uh, you got a map. You'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. <laughs> well, you're a jerk. Well, let's go to the fifth floor, I guess. And Luigi couldn't see ever again. Yeah, I'm not going to bother doing too much exploration until I get Guiji, because really, I'm going to keep finding things I can't get, and that's going to annoy me, and I'm going to eventually forget. So let's just go straight to getting Guiji, and then we can do the backtracking. Good plan. Fun fact, that cutscene of the button flying in exists to address why Luigi can't simply put elevator buttons in different spots. That is actually clever now that I think about it, because I would have said the same thing otherwise. Huh. Time to get funky with the Virtual Boo song. I still miss the Game Boy Horror. It was pretty good. This is not a bad beat, though. And to be fair, this does actually sound like what the Virtual Boy does sound like. This is about the sound quality you would get out of an actual Virtual Boy. So I love that they actually, like, all three of them are pretty close in line with what the systems would do. Did he have a DS in Dark Moon? Yes. I think. Pretty sure it was a DS. Because it was a Game Boy Color in the first one. Because it was handheld for a while, and then they went back to the Virtual Boy for this one. Yeah, the dual scream, so it was a DS. 
Ah, uh, Luigi, I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. That Poltergust G00 of yours has a new feature that I like to call Suction Shot. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. Use Y to fire the rubber plunger. You can stick it onto flat or smooth surfaces. And if you use the Poltergust G00 to suck up the rope and then press A, you can tug on objects and pull off a powerful slam to break them. You should start shooting at things right away. Practice makes perfect, after all. Oh, and don't forget to check get my briefcase, Luigi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah, so I don't know why they don't tell you that right away. I guess because they just wanted to set this up, but you do have access to that immediately. You mean that plunger thing you've already been doing since you left the lab? Yeah, but it's because I knew it was there. The game otherwise doesn't expect you to know about it. And I believe I can't even go back to these rooms yet. I think this needs a double slam, yeah. But this one, you right away. Just throw that money everywhere, Luigi. We're gonna need that fight money. They don't. They won't know that I'm wanted if they don't see the posters. Exactly. It's a perfect strategy. Enemies can't grab you if you're on fire. Whoa. Or if you freeze yourself, because then you're too slippery. <laughs> I mean, I guess that could work too. Never thought of it that way. Uh, hello. There we go. My only gripe with the virtual booze depiction is that it's not as much of a hassle to carry around as the virtual boy really was. Like, imagine this big hulking red thing swinging on Luigi's waist the, the whole time because he can't fit it in his pocket. You're right. I wish what they had done instead was they had put, like, a little strap around it so that it would be hanging off of his neck or something. Or, like, hanging on top of the, the poltergust. That would have been a nice touch, but I guess that would be an extra thing to render. Nope, he's just gotta have the MacGuffin back pocket. Hammer space, as they say. Well, they're having fun. I'll let them have fun. Hello, phone! No one there. Clean up the old wall a bit. Man, it really doesn't want to get rid of some of these posters. There we go. Too close. I also forgot I gotta start doing this now. <laughs> Speen. Speen. Speen to find hidden things. Or, you know, vacuum to get stuff like this. Hello? Hello, haunted room? Damn it, missed. I always love how dark and atmospheric they try to make these Luigi Mansion games, yet they're still cheesy as hell. <laughs> like, Luigi's really scared, guys, it's true. He honestly is. Oh look, slapstick. Oh look, a spider bit him. Hilarious. It's a it's a black widow. That would kill a normal man. But not Luigi. He's more than a man. Oh, there's a gem. Cow? He's a cow, apparently. More than a man, he's a cow. A I thought the cow man. I thought the first game was scary when I was a kid. I will give credit to the first game. There are some genuine weird and messed up moments that I could definitely see scaring people. Hello. In the first one. Hi, buddy. Oh, you look really pissed off. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you 
is so mad. <sighs> I'm, I'm just stuck with farting dogs now, apparently. Yeah, I would almost trade for that at this point. Almost. No, you wouldn't. <sighs> I'm just glad they don't smell yet. Or is the fact that my face is just wow. looking away from the dog. Hello, room 504. <laughs> All right. Stop fooling around, Luigi. Go to my room and get my briefcase. You didn't tell me what your room was, Egad. It's gonna take a while. You can't turn around. You can always check the map using the voob. But hurry. Ah, uh, voob. Check the voob. Check the vibe, Luigi. Always check the vibe. The vibe is spooky. You're right. He got scared. That's how spooky the vibe is. Luigi's too spooky. He's going too spooky. He's going to the bathroom now. Spiders! Has to Never go. seen them before. He has to go wash off all the sweat. He has to keep himself from marinating anymore. Rubber ducky. down there yet because I need Gooas. Yeah, Chaos Child. A lot of people are are aware that the first Luigi's Mansion was in beta was like way more different than what you got in game. Yeah, like, I, think, I, was, I know I there's someone trying of, to recreate that. There's like a mod that someone's making for it. Like I was aware of like the they were technically gonna have a time limit. I wasn't aware that they were trying to plan on a wow. limited capacity thing. What, what do you mean by limited? Oh, the polter gust having limited capacity. I mean that would make sense on a timer. They would want you to keep going back to empty it out, so you had to pick and choose what ghosts you bought. I could see that working. As someone who's a big fan of Dead Rising, I can see that working very well. But at the same time, that would also basically describe Dead Rising. <laughs> you can only carry so many things at once. You can only have so many people with you at once. Everything is on a strict time limit. Yeah. I think a uh, Dead Rising esque Luigi's Mansion would kind of kick ass. Oh, that the uh, the beta Luigi's Mansion thing got re released recently. Nice. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. Man, I, I don't know about you, but the cleaning lady's been slacking. Well, about that. That's actually the next ghost we're dealing with. You weren't supposed to tell them, John! Oh, they figured it out. They already saw the, the cleaning cart move away from us. Oh, there you go. Give me the money. Ta-da! Ow. 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 Ellie. How many spiders are in this damn closet? Too many. Five. I think it was four, actually. The Black Widow wardrobe is here. Come get your death for only $59.99. Jeez, that one bar just flew past me. Jesus. <laughs> it wanted out of this room.
Damn the cooldown on this flashlight when I screw it up. Forget, can I even get wow. something? Money is everywhere. How much money do I actually need for the best ending, chat? I think it was 65,000. 65,000? That doesn't seem that high. Especially considering the requirements in no. previous games. Or it's the not. first game, rather. Like hell, I actually bought... Wow. Oh, they're, they're correcting me at 70,000. So I wasn't too far off the mark. That's still surprisingly low. You did it. You got the thing. Now I have to destroy it. Like a piggy bank. Yeah, if it's, if it's only 70k, like, I'm already 10% there. Yeah, surprisingly enough, the the requirement for the best uh, rank is not that much. But I think also what factored into that was the... There's actually a store at, at EGAD's lab. Oh, yeah, someone says if you buy too many items from EGAD, then it can become an issue. Okay, so buying stuff from EGAD doesn't count. It has to be on hand amount money you need? Yes. Okay, that is a little different. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. So what does Egad sell? I know he sells upgrades. Is that it? He sells bones that are act, basically act as revives. And he also sells you the locations of the jewels. Ah. Delicious. Oh, shoot, we gotta play golf. Oh, crap, I can't. I just ate all the golf balls. Damn it, John. How are we supposed to work on our putt game? I'm sorry, they were delicious. Oh, never mind. I fixed it. Oh, damn it. Thought I got a hole in one. Damn it, man. Damn it. Thought I got a hole in two. Damn it. Thought I got a hole in three. All right, let's line up. You'll be lucky if we even get a par four. Nope. Missed that one. All right, hang on. I need a mulligan. Get a mulligan going, all right. This just makes me want to play yep. mini golf. Yeah, I, I want to play mini golf too. <laughs> me too. We'll, we'll figure out a day. Did you see okay. that they announced uh, Labyrinth, Jim Henson's Labyrinth, as a mini golf course coming soon? No. Yeah, they're doing 36 courses based on Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the movie. On what? Whoa. On uh, that. VR mini golf game that we played. Walk what? Yeah, Walkabout Mini Golf is getting labyrinth themed mini golf courses. That's fucking sick. Wow. Whoa. Still scared. Maybe we should wait till then. I think that's summer. Maybe we should not wait till then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be a bit. That's so cool. Yeah, summer. It was just a surprise out of nowhere announcement, too. Like, I don't think anyone was expecting it. Oh. After the true safe haven. There's Never mind, it's not the safe haven. That I didn't know about. Is it what? The guest pass feature. Oh, okay. So... The, the feature is if somebody has the paid content, uh, the other person doesn't need to have it. Oh, neat. Cool. Which, to be fair, probably both of us will be buying that anyways. To be fair, yeah. Did we hear about the Weird Al pinball table? 
<laughs> Boy, yeah. have we. Yep, someone tried to start a pinball fun for it. We haven't shut up about it. I will not be able to buy it because A, it is fucking expensive. B, I'm scared. And C, uh... Yeah, I don't have a room for it even if I did have the money. What are you scared of, John? I was scared of those ghosts that disappeared and tried to scare me. I mean, fair enough. They came to clean you, instead you cleaned them. Oh yes. It's eleven thousand dollars. Holy hell. Because I so here's the thing. So the the Weird Al pinball table is based off of some modular system for a pinball table, and it's buying that and the the Weird Al kit. Oh. So it's unfortunately really expensive. Hi, buddy. It's unfortunately really expensive because they have to buy both. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're jumping up? Yep, you are. Okay, cool. Here, knock over things again. Yeah? You gonna move my monitor some more? You gonna complain a bit more? Hi. At the very least, all my dogs are doing are just napping. Oh, and he's down. Hi. Yeah. You really gotta go pee poop, but you don't wanna use your lair box, do you? That's what it is. Yeah, that's all it is. You just don't like pooping in your lair box. My bud. Well, Plus my, uh, my keyboard's back on my lap. <laughs> Plus, John would want the special edition with the UHF panels. Yeah, I also wouldn't be able to stream it because, and, and Policia points it out too. Uh, it it uses Weird Al's music in it. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to stream it. I watched UHF uh, a couple weeks ago. It's a good movie. It holds up. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It gets funnier as as it goes on. Yeah. No, it definitely. At the it beginning, takes, you're like, "This is going. weird." Which you'd expect from Weird Al, but... I mean, it's in the name. Hi, mister, can I help you? You're just gonna sit here and complain the whole time? Are you gonna move on, Luigi? No, I'm busy. Relax. Relax you get. I thought there was a way to shut him up. Bakel, you alright? He, he just activated the flash just then. That was him. <laughs> He's rolling around my desk. Hi, yeah. Meow. Hey, Angie. Are hey, you Angie? Yeah, you Angie? Uh-huh. Tell me more. Oh, yeah. Can you hear him Very Angie. I, no. uh, no. I don't know if you can hear him in the Discord call. He might be coming through on the actual, like, uh, stream, though. What? Yeah? Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah, tell me more. Here, talk in the microphone. Yeah. Tell them how mad you are. They're saying merp, so he's he's being caught on the can on the microphone. Hi. Oh yeah, you got the itchy ear, the itchy face. Oh yeah. That was a clear merp. Wow, that was loud. Yeah, I moved the microphone right in front of him and he'd let one go. He let one big merp go. Yeah, because you angry, aren't you? You angry, buddy? Hi. He angry, he lost to the cat. He angry, he can't get his rematch. He oh. angry because he got to wear a donut. He's angry because he and wants more pets, too. He's demanding pets. I heard a purr. But and, uh, and he's angry just to be angry. I feel bad because we've had to pause so much because of Bagel, but at the same time, I think any streams this week are going to be like this. Hi. Does this make you feel any better? This, this is as good as close as I can get to scratching your ear without actually touching it. How's that? Any better? 
and help. Yeah, hi. I gotta get back to stream. I just wish he could. He would be still enough. I could put him on cam. And that's the thing. Hi. Right. Yeah. All right. No. 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 Don't put your bloody ear next to my controller. Just. Sorry, bud. Wow. I miss her. I love you and all that, but I gotta, I gotta get back to stream. Yeah, I can't, I can't keep petting you, buddy. Hey, right. Mama's upstairs. Go get pets from Mama. Uh, Daddy's busy. Hello. Daddy's fighting spiders. He is looking for my hand when I stop petting him, and he's like chasing it down. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry guys, like, my movement is gonna be slow for the next little bit until he decides to leap off. Does he ever watch TV with you? Sometimes, and when he gets, when he really wants my attention, he'll block the set TV. Wow. Definitely of course. Do that. Sorry yeah, if I we'll sound watch. distant, by the way, the microphone's closer to the cat than it is to me right now. Uh, we'll watch, uh, like, zoo shows, and the cat just freaks out over the animals on screen. Alright, microphone back Every to now. me. Bagel doesn't usually do that. But he, definitely, again, definitely if we're paying more attention to, to that than him, he gets upset and tries to cover it up. Like he is currently trying to cover up my TV. Hi. Yeah, can I help you? <laughs> Hello! Hi! He just knocked the controller out of my hand. Oh, man. He just bashed his head into the controller to try to get me to stop holding the controller and pet him instead. Hi. Yeah. Bagel, you keep this up. I am going to put the cam on you if I can. Yeah, look at that. Look at that thing that you hate. You hate that camera, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. You hate that camera. Guess what? I'm going to turn it on if you don't move. Everyone going to see you. Everyone going to see you on the camera. There you, you see Angie Boy. There There's are. Angie there Boy. He there he is, chat. Admire the Angie Boy. Yeah. Look at that. As he gets the scratches. Yeah, look at this. You're all over my desk. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, you're mad. Ooh. Oh. oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> he's gone. Yep, he left. Bye. I knew turning on the cam would make him leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just saying Angie, but man, he was Angie. I mean, you, to be fair, you got to be careful when you're petting the stomach of a cat. Yep. Yeah. Am I okay? Oh, yeah, no, he didn't break skin. That's, that was a warning shot, if you're not familiar with how cats do their uh, their movement. But he's definitely very irritated right now. He definitely wants to go outside. I'm pretty sure he needs to use the litter box, but he's not doing it. So instead he's running around, like, being destructive. Because he wants to mark his territory outside. Yeah. Hey! No scratching the chair, you know that. Oh yeah, he's pissed. Yep. Oh yeah. When he starts doing that, he's very pissed. Yeah. Yeah, my cat will show his tummy, and then any 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 fast rubs happening, your hands gone. Yeah, no, you got you got to do a specific pace. Yeah. With most yeah. cats, if you're getting tummy rubs, and they've got to be really comfortable with you. Hi, you done being destructive? Go bug mom. Wow. Mama's literally oh, waiting gosh. for you to come upstairs. I don't have to worry about that with my dogs. They, got, they just enjoy getting scratches or head rubs. Hi, yeah, you're gonna try to block the TV now? What are you gonna do this time? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, you took down my USB hub. Thanks. <laughs> Neat. You got it wrapped around your head, you dingus. Hang on. Oh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Hang on. Big ol'. Oh my god. What a cat. Oh my god. Such a destructive cat. Hi. Meow, meow, yeah. See? There you are, you're right there. That's you. You little bugger. This has definitely been a bagel centered couple oh, yeah. of minutes. Bagel's taking over for sure. Oh yeah, he's he's not gonna let me get anything done today. His MO right now is just to make sure I let him go outside. I'm trying to remember how to make that move. He's there. he's looking at you, Chad. He's judging you. There's something specific else I need to move. What is it? He's also angry with you. They go angry with everybody. It wasn't the shower again, right? Oh, I think oh. I know what you're trying to do. I think this opens from activating... Oh, it's like I gotta remember where the hidden light is or something like that? Isn't it like up here? something? I did this last time and I just don't remember right now. You mind if I say something? Yeah, go for it. Did you uh, plunger the mirror? This mirror? The cracked one? Yeah. Yeah, it's not staying on there. What about... Okay, then I guess my next suggestion would be, what about that panel in the other... in the back room? Wow. Yeah, I gotta break more shit. I see you're following Bagel's example. Oh yeah, like father, like son. Whoa. Yeah, what about the uh, that panel right there? Can you pl plunge it? Oh, that? it can be plunged, never mind. Never mind, it's, it's more simple than I thought. I don't know why I thought that was like an activation screen or something. Overthinking as usual. I think this game makes you do it a lot. Is what looks like a piggy bank in the mirror. Is that something? Oh, yes, there is. Thank you for pointing that out. I also didn't see that. Uh, where exactly is that in relation to us right here? So missed that. Thank you, chat. Dark light in the room? No, I don't think there's... I don't think there's anything dark light in here. Yeah, no. Nothing to dark light to worry about. Big brain being smooth brain again? No, no, just overthinking as per usual. I keep forgetting mirrors are so important in this series, you kind of got to, like, make sure you're actually looking at stuff, because you're going to see stuff there that you might not notice otherwise. of your stumped in a room that Chad's free to suggest. I would wait till St. John says, says something. Before yeah, wait until I say stuff. something. Uh, I want to try to figure it out first, even if it takes a little bit. Wow. But don't be surprised if I routinely just kind of forget about an ability. Like, I just don't use it for a bit. It's not on purpose, I swear, it's just sometimes I'm just, I get tunnel visioned. God, I think, like, I feel like this damn hotel is just made of money and that's it. It's the only thing they use to build it. The walls are literally plastered with dollar bills.
Hey lady, I got a complaint to file. You have not been doing your job at all. And you're stealing. Delicious. Tasty. You may want to lose that weight, though. I've got the diet regimen for you, a vacuum cleaner. It'll suck up all that extra weight. There you go, you don't mind if I break all your science books, right? I gotta make this vacuum cleaner like, smart. I also like to point out how Egad said, oh yeah, by the way, all those ghosts you caught previously are pretty much gone again. But I'm also, but it's also like, they're, it's usually new bosses every time, so I'm just like, but what happened to all the other boss ghosts that I, you had to deal with? Are they the, just back The regular else? ones, I think, is what they're referring to. All right, uh, how do I do this again? Yeah, lock onto that specifically. Can you get back there again? We locked onto it a second ago. Nope, never mind. I'm trying to remember if I've already fucked up. There we go, I think I have to do something like this. There we go. You can't, I'm busy. Yeah, no. I get rich here, old yeah, man. Sir, I was busy and got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status of my briefcase? Yeah. What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Don't just stand there. Go after her. Goodbye. All right, I'm cleaning your room first, though. I need the tip. I need that tip money. You need you gotta get paid. Yeah, had all the money in his, his room, apparently. Beautiful. Nice. Nice looking place. Oh no, it's spooky! Thank you. The ghost was a gym this entire time. I mean, he was made of crystal. At least it looked like. All right, let's water these flowers. Yeah. Like how it's just not even using like the sprinkler part of the can. He's just dumping the entire thing. I forget now. Oh, no, never mind. It's just his flash. Remember, it was like you come back later if it was just use the flash. Yeah, just had all the money just in his room. Wow. We're starting to, to the fact that Luigi's become a flasher now. I'm sorry, what? I don't, think I don't think that's quite the flasher the meaning you're going for. But he's flashing everybody, anything and everyone at this hotel. With a bright light. Possibly with eye damage. I think the ghosts aren't worried about the eye damage. <laughs> They're already dead. They don't have eyes. They don't have eyeballs. They have sockets. That's it. And spectral eyeballs, which have magic properties because video game. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab that money toilet paper while we're here, too. Jesus. Thank you. And that's why Egad has like no hair. He groomed it all away. It's got like the one like 
cowlick? Tuft? I don't know what you call it. That's all he has left because of it. Alright, so we gotta come back there anyways because we need Gooigi to go in there. We got a two for the place. There's the timing. Demo. I was mashing earlier. That's why it wasn't working. Nice. Oh, yeah. So if you, if you mash the button, you can't do that. But if you time it perfectly, as soon as they hit the ground, you get to do five slams instead of four. Whoa. So I remember that from when we did uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Scare Scraper for Coliseum last year. Or Rosa did. But uh, I couldn't remember the exact timing for it, other than, like, I thought you could mash it. I didn't realize you could t time it for an extra slam. Yeah, if you do it exactly as they hit the ground, you don't mash it, you just tap it as soon as they do that, you can get a combo going, and it lets you do five in the time frame instead of four. Man, I'm sorry, but it's gonna hurt. He's pretty spry for someone who's added a bit of weight. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little busy. <laughs> Hello? Here's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to door. To, you get the idea. I'd say waiting 10 seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work. That's called auto-saving. Hi, ma'am. Well, I think for her it's a little different because she's considered a boss, so... I assume she goes to the next room and not the bathroom. You'd be right. Oh, yep, yeah, and she's fighting me. Ow. Ta da. Ma'am, please stop making these awkward sounds. You're making it awkward for both of us. Oh, yeah. Alright, now let's break it. Can I actually not? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I actually can't. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ho ho. Shiny. Nice. Gonna hide that in my mystery Hello. backpack. Whoa. Got it. Yeah. Luigi. Oh yeah. Luigi. <laughs> Seems that you've also acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come on back to the lab. Run! Run, Lewis! Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! You know what? I would just laugh if he's trying to already put the button up for the top floor. But the button just keeps flying I mean, away. to be fair, I would do that, too. <laughs> I don't blame him for trying. Mario. 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 I like how he's still calling out for Mario, even though he knows Mario can't, like, call out. I mean, he's still scared. And he's still looking for his brother. He's a good brother. Luigi is cares for his brother a lot. 
I, I don't blame him. His brother gets all the but glory. Just, Luigi still cares. But you're not exactly going to be able to respond to him when you're kind of like stuck in like the painting verse. Like, it, I understand like the first time because you have no idea what's going on. But I mean, yeah, he does it in all three games. Actually, no. Does he do it in two? I forget. I'm pretty sure there's a dedicated. I thought, I thought there was like, at least a thing. Mario. I know that that's where help help comes from. Uh huh. Magic. Whoa. Does he do what in two? Does he call out Mario in two? Too old to be out of catching ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. Behold, Gooish G. The latest invention from the brilliant mind of Professor E. Gad, I give you Gooigi. The development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Sneaky, in the remake of Luigi's Mansion 1 for the 3DS, E. Gad travels, or like sends this back in time, I believe, so you can do two-player co-op of Luigi's Mansion 1, or have access to Gooigi in Luigi's Mansion 1. So that is the testing that they're coyly referring to. Hmm? How is it going to help? Now, nah, now, nah, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm going to attach this to you to Poltergeist G00. Turn around for me, will you? And I heard that version of Luigi's Mansion isn't the best either. Um, I think it has both control schemes, which makes it interesting. Because I think the newer control scheme breaks a couple things. I forget exactly what it was. Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. Didn't they also confirm that Gooigi is coffee flavored? I thought they said that somewhere else too. I thought they say that here in the game. Uh -huh. Luigi, would you like to be captured today? But I, 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 Luigi. All right, you leaving? Okay, bye. Bye. So anyways, I was captured. I've caught you in my trap, Luigi. I was the villain the entire time. Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. But I am gonna need you to stay locked up. Why, you ask? Because I want you to use Gooigi to try to escape from your cell. You can activate Gooigi with the R stick pressed in. To recall him to his tank, do it twice. It was all a lap Paul plot all along. Ta-da! Behold, this is your very own personal assistant, Gooigi! Gooigi can slip through tight spaces like greats or vents. His body's incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on, see for yourself. Ta-da! Jello boy! There you go, he moves in basically the same way as you do, so controlling him shouldn't take much getting used to. Well, that reminds me. Pressing R1, Squeegee's active will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. Let me clean you, Goigi. You look a little dirty. There you go, nice steam bath for you. That'll make you nice and clean and shiny. Okay. Oh, uh, now I'm just rem remembering all those, like... Little slime toys after a while would always get like all the little dirt and stuff from like everywhere. Luigi, there's something I'd like for you to try out. Oh, he's gonna make me do it. Okay, walk Luigi directly to me. I know it seems like a silly request, but humor me, alright? And follow my directions exactly. No. I don't listen to you, Egad. That's why I steal your glasses and make you do that pose. Fine, I'll get in the damn water. No, water. Why have you betrayed me? Luigi isn't even remotely waterproof, Luigi. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful with him around anything wet. He still magically comes back into your poultry gust. Yeah, it's still impressive that it does that. But yeah, you have to avoid water specifically as Luigi, otherwise he melts. That's one heck of a design flaw. Yeah, it kind of is. Well done, Luigi. I feel like I can't can let you run loose with Luigi. All right, we're done with your training, at least for now. Let's go back to the lab. Nice work, Luigi. Very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. I've been running the sensors in the lab, and they've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous-looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know you really want to find all your missing friends, but if you want to take a break from that, you can head over to that tower. It's probably crawling with ghosts that you can catch. Go on and test your skills there for science. 
I made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab. Just select Scare Scraper in multiplayer. Have fun. Oh, wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out Scream Park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and want to have some fun. Up to eight people can play and compete with one another. Fun! <laughs> All right, you can get a new, you can get to a new floor now. Uh, head to the elevator and take the third floor. So yeah, I forget if that's actually how the unlocks. Oh yeah, it totally is because these weren't here otherwise. Or I think only one was. But yeah, now we can do Scare Scraper, which is really good. Scare Scraper is hella fun. Uh, but let's, now that we have everything we need, let's go get all the gems that we can get. If Gooigi had a personality, what would it be? I mean, he is just Goo Luigi, so wouldn't it be the same? He would have Luigi's personality, but he'd be gooier. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Actually, there's something here they do later on with Gooigi I always liked. Thinking to do it this time. <laughs> Not falling for it this time! <laughs> Although it's weird that there's another button there that you can't press. Probably because the, the cords are cut there, I assume. Bye bye. He's T1000 Luigi, sort of? I mean, little, yeah, basically. Like, here, the whole point of Gooigi, at least to start, is that you're gonna use him to get a bunch of stuff that you couldn't before. Yeah, let me... Oh, I already got that one, right? Ho-ho! Ho -ho. Pop them in the old pocket. So if you remember when we went in this vent over here earlier, There was a point at the top of the ladder where you can see a gem, but we couldn't get to it. There's this little grate right here, and if you spit Luigi out into it, and you stand on it long enough, he just slips through. So because of that, we can pick up the gem. Oh. And that's basically his purpose as it comes to solving puzzles, but there's a lot more to it later on. Um, and in fact, once we get to the lobby, there's one, I think it was the lobby anyways. You'll see the other main use of Gooigi. Wow. Wow, wow. Oh yeah, let's, let's do this one too very quickly. I believe this is Gooigi. Hello. Sorry, you go, in. you go in. Jesus Christ, that sound effect. <laughs> Can Guiji go through the ladder? Uh, I'm not sure on that, actually. God, this just makes me want Jello now. I, guess, I haven't had I... Jello in so long. Well, that answers your question. He, in fact, can go through the ladder and it can kill him. Good to know. Man, I, I feel I hate that I'm trying to lose weight, man. Because I'm like, oh, I want an Oreo Blizzard. Oh, man, I want fucking oh. Jello. <laughs> Just like, God damn it! I want to lose weight. I'm also at this weird point though, where I feel like I'm I've lost so much weight so fast, those shit's not fitting right anymore. Like my mm. wedding ring keeps slipping off. I have come dangerously close to losing my wedding ring numerous times because my wedding ring literally can't stay on my finger. Who laid? Also, hi Shamrock. Hey Shamrock. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the game that you suggested and won the entire poll with. I was hoping that I would also win the entire bracket too, so I'd just get two free games. Dude, that would have been greedy as fuck. Where did you even end up on the rankings? Hang on. Not even that high. I I failed uh, horribly in the lower bracket. 25, actually, that's pretty high. Oh. 
That's better That's than better I thought. better than me. Yeah, like, here's the thing. I was impressed with the mods, because most of the mods ended pretty high. Kion got technically tied for first, but got second overall. Uh, Montario got seventh. Do, 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 do. I got 15th, and that was a tie with It's Andrew. Uh, Gex got 17th and was in first for a while. Da, da, da. Shamrock got 25th. Deef got 30th. Time Thief got 34th. Oh, that's magical, not maniacal. Okay, I was going to say maniacal got in top 50 as well, but that's magical. Like, a lot of mods surprisingly ended up in the top 50. I got one, two, three. Oh. Yes, hi. How are y'all doing? It's almost like we know the community kind of well. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know this community at all. That's why I suggested Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it was his master plan. Collected all basement gems. Pray. All right, there we go. First uh, floor of gems is completely done. Now, the lobby. Go ahead and get that Chaos Emerald. I did it. Oh now, I remember the gems on this one sucked. Um, I know at least two of them right now. I'm not sure if I can remember the rest. Here's the first one, and the other thing for Guiji I remember you gotta do. Guiji can also activate pressure plates, and you're gonna need to do this a fair amount. Uh, where's the second? There we go. Garbage in the way. I believe you also need to... Do they both have to do this, or just one of them? I think it's both of them. Yeah, I think I need both. Nice. And there's the yellow one. That's three Chaos Emeralds down. Where's the damn fourth Chaos Emerald? It's right there. It's literally right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way up here. You might remember earlier I pulled this up. Ooh, okay, never mind. There was a step I was missing. I thought it was in a box. I do remember some of the later gem placements getting kind of dickish. I've heard there's some of these are yes. real mean. So there's the damn fourth there's Chaos a, Emerald. There's a handful I remember just like wandering around for hours like, where the, f where is this? How so did I, I miss it? Here's the thing, those are the only four I remember. So from here on out, uh, I don't know if I remember where the rest of them are for this, for the lobby. We already got all these. Yeah, we've already got that one. I forget, are the first and second floors combined for gems? No, they're a different gem type. No, the lobby itself is uh, its own thing. Yeah, let me just look at the full map here. Unless there's hidden rooms. Hi, buddy. He's back. He's, he's back. Hey, none of Hi. that. There's nothing going on. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, go use the litter box, buddy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go use the litter box. No? Wait. You want to use the litter box? How come? Yeah? That's not a good answer. Give me a better answer. 
It's coarse, rough, and it gets everywhere. Yeah. Do you just not like? Are you Star Wars man? Is that you, Bagel? Are you Mister Star like Wars sand. himself? Well, guess what? Cam's back on because he's uh, he's craving that attention. Hi. Put I a cry, sweater baby. on him. Hi, cry baby. He does need a pressure sweater right now or a thunder vest because he is going insane. Hi. What a cutie pie. This is basically going to be the next two weeks with him. It's going to suck. <laughs> but at least, like, at least I can step away when I'm not, it's not a stream night. And Reese isn't streaming at the moment because she doesn't have her computer here, so it really is just me at the moment that has to worry about it. Or in this case, like, Reese gets has to babysit him because he's freaking out. Yeah, aren't you? Yeah, you're a little baby. Did she send her PC in? Yeah, she's trying to figure out why in the world her card's so loud. We brought it in it. Thursday, Friday, I forget which day it was. And they haven't gotten back to the us. Card? Yet no, the entire computer. We brought it to a local place. Do you know exactly what was causing the noise? Uh it's the 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 cap not the capture card, the uh graphics card specifically. They don't know if it's mm -hmm. uh one of the fans wasn't kicking in, if a bearing's off or whatever, so they're checking it out. Worst case she's gonna have to get a replacement. Uh or a different card. But right now, she can't use her actual main rig, which means she can't stream or make videos. So she made a, a one or two in advance, and that's about it. Uh oh. What breed of cat is a Bagel, Orange Tabby, or is there some specific name? Yeah, he's just Orange Tabby. Yeah. That's you, mister. One eyed Orange Tabby. Yeah, a fancy. Very one specific tabby. breed. Now we speed. I, was about to say, I would make fun of you for doing that, but I did the exact same thing when I played. It really does just oh. make life easier. And there's gem five. So now the question becomes, where's the final one? Wasn't there another plunder thing next to, uh, behind the front desk? I didn't think there was. Oh, I see what he's referring to. On the left to. there. That's where the yeah. key is at the very beginning, but I don't know if it also can be... Oh, right. Yeah, no, it's not auto-locking on, so it's not a designated target. All right, let's look around. More than likely, it's over here somewhere. Or it's... Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I might know where it is. Thought I had something there. Yeah. Oh, now I can do this. Entry is allowed now. Asp. He's so mad. He does not want to move. He's just staring at me with his pissed off look. Oh! Yes, y'all. Oh. Dude, you alright? Yes, I got three dogs all fighting for a spot on my lap. Okay. And I got a cat who's trying to get on mine. Bye, buddy. They're just. What about that thing in the lobby said you need a Gooigi for? Already did it. I'm trying to remember. I recall there being a gem near the front door. That's probably where it is at this point. I think it's the table that has the fish heads on it. Because I thought I had gotten all the gems on the lobby, too. But I might be misremembering that. It's all dogs. They're French bulldogs. Lay down on the ground and let all three dogs. Oh, wait, hang on. I think it's the tool chest. Or I sleep tool on chest the couch chains, with all three of them. I sleep on the couch with all three of them, because they have to. They've been we've been trying to wing them off from sleeping with us because it's hard to sleep with all three of them. But the problem is, no, not the they tools. don't want that. Is it the 
keychain? I don't think it can be. to cave on this one. Let's see here. Already, already broke all four of those. Already did that. Wow. No, wait, hang on. Fish heads. Come to me, fish heads. Never mind, you despawned. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not considered wow. gravel. Just oh it? no, I remember I remember which one it is. The signs reminded me. Is it's it not what you would th it's not the signs, but it's close to the signs. Hmm. What else is hanging in this room? Oh well, the chandelier we already did. Oh, okay. Yeah, we already did that. We did that we one earlier. There are two chandeliers. Sorry, princess. I don't think I can reach that yet, right? All right, give me give me two more minutes, and then I'm gonna actually ask for help, because I actually want to see if I can get this one on my own. I got that one. For those who are trying to figure out what one I'm missing, it's the very first one on the list. Funny enough, which you think would be the easiest one to find. Oh, the diamond one. Or the diamond diamond. Part of me wonders if I'm missing something with the black lights. That seems the most likely at this point. I think it is. Did you Have you not gotten one with the black light here? No. I think that, it, yeah, it's the black light. Because I remember the one being with the black light. Chad, yeah, feel free to confirm or deny that. I'll accept a confirm or deny on if it's the black light. Confirm. Oh, you're confirming it? Yeah. Oh. I just nope. Oh, I just went ahead and Googled it. <laughs> Cheater. And that works. Hey, look. With ha with half these gems, fuck them. I think I only caved and looked up one, but that was literally the last one. Oh, I only Even looked them up help after I went. Enough. It's all grand I lobby gems. I, tried... I only did after I did the floor. I was like, okay, I don't know what where they are. I'm just gonna look them up. Fuck it. Cool. There yes, we go. Hi. Lobby is done. I might just I might just ask that at first. I'm like, okay, if I haven't tried something, can you tell me if it's this type or this type? That might just be faster. Because if we just keep looking around everywhere and I'm I'm just Luigi spinning the whole time, it's gonna take forever. Okay, so for this floor, we've got two of them already. But we also haven't explored most of this floor. We've already been in there. I think we already got everything in this room, so I think we can write this one off completely. Or can we based on that sound? I can't even tell anymore. Hmm. Yep, I already got that piggy bank, so I think this room is completely empty, because we already got that treasure chest. And we already got the one over here. And I don't think there's anywhere to actually... It looks like I can get behind that, weirdly enough, but I don't think I actually can. Oh, Gooigi, you'd be the one to check. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Hello. Hello. I always, for I always forget you can plunge the other. <laughs> it's not really helpful, though, from what I remember. I bet Wait. John could solve a Rubik's Cube. I have never successfully solved a Rubik's Cube, but I also did not have the patience for them as a kid. I tried, I and I'm like, yep, this sucks, I'm out. Was there a grate in front of that 
last door you were going in or out of the this inside one that green room. Yeah. It almost looked like there was a grate on the floor right in front of the door. Uh, you are correct. We can I actually go in that, or is that just a mat? No, it's just one of those mats. Ow. Oh. It's been a bit since I've last played. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sit there. Come on, you at least could let him figure out where he is. Nah, it's his own fault he didn't read the map. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Reading is fun. I bet jump. <laughs> Can't go that way. See, I haven't. I actually never came back here after getting Guigi. I went through all that beforehand, and you can get through there. So I didn't expect that to happen just then. Hmm. I guess I thought that was the case. I might be misremembering. I don't remember that though. I do not remember this many. Also by far my favorite mechanic, literally just smack a ghost with another ghost. It's kind of great. This is definitely the best edition. Have you ever been so angry that you hit a motherfucker? <laughs> you took a motherfucker, a motherfucker with, with another, another motherfucker. motherfucker? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, yes. I can't remember Great. quotes, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm gonna take this motherfucker and beat him with another motherfucker. And GG. Whoa, yeah. Oh yeah. I did it. I killed everyone. Again. I re-killed them. You gave him a second death. I'll give him a third if I got it. One thing that gets anno what that actually got annoying with this game though was when you're trying to explore, you could you still had to do fight. Ghosts would still pop up. You didn't have to fight them. It just get annoying that. In order to explore with no problems, you had to take him out again. Hmm. Like, right now I hear a ghost talking, so I know there's one somewhere. But I don't Probably know down where. the actual lobby. Probably. Hey. Definitely thought I stepped on a bear trap. It could be a little... morbid. I mean, this is next level games. They do like their messed up stuff. I know, like, it's because it's supposed to be like when the lights are fully on, that's when, like, all the ghosts are gone. But I don't remember if you can do that in the lobby. Yeah, no. Nope. At least now it's quiet, so now we can go back to what we were doing. No, it's not quiet. There is a third one. Ah, the thinker. He's wondering why there are fish heads in the lobby. Now, is that all of them? I assume. Yes, because the music has shifted. No, the music sounded the exact same to me. Sorry, I didn't realize the pacing had changed. There we go, now we can do this. Okay, I think this room here is like the the arcade room, the billiard room. Yeah. Yeah. This has some weird mechanic to it. This is this is roughly where I stopped playing, because I remember screwing this up and not being quite sure how to do this correctly, or something in this area I screwed up wrong. So I believe I'm supposed to. Maybe not. What else am I supposed to shoot at? The plunger? No, the dartboard's the plunger. Is 
is it not? Is it? Hmm. I just wanted to do that one. <laughs> spin, piggy, spin! Vomit out money! Let's pick up an entire locker and huck it. Big boy strength, but he can't move the cart that's in front of the doorway. No, I, it's selective strength. It's, you know, that adrenaline strength. Weird, I thought for sure this was just use the plunger on that. Am I supposed to do it from a certain location? just get them all in the actual thing, or am I supposed to do them all in a, in a certain order? That's asking a lot. Look, man, you never know with these games. Never know. Until you do. I literally don't remember if it's just get them all in there without scratching, or if it's just get them all in there. I think it's just Get them all in. <laughs> the uh, the chalk cube is now in the way. Played billiards on the second floor. Excellent shot. Oh, it's not even for a gem. It's just an achievement. Okay. Never mind. An excellent shot by Jonathan Wheeler. <laughs> Fantastic. The one straight into the corner pocket. <laughs> On top of it a little bit, though. A little hovered a little bit. Have you ever played pool before? Yeah, I love playing pool. I'm not the best at it, but it's fun. I used to be a pool shark. Used to. It's been about four years. Is the dartboard even for anything? Can I shoot the Is that doors? an actual question? That is an actual question. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Hi, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, wait. I, re I remember. I'll just say this. What do you normally do with a dart dartboard? Throw darts at it. Hi. Well, we don't have any darts, so I guess oh, something else will have to suffice. Yeah. Did you know this is like the tenth time you've done this? Hi. Did you know you have a litter box you can use? You have two. Isn't that impressive? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Isn't that so weird? You have all these options, you don't want to use them. Maybe he likes the way the snow feels on his tushy. You don't know how he feels. Uh, I know he hates the snow, usually. Don't you? Yeah, you hate the snow. Yeah, he's back on the table. <laughs> there goes my keyboard again. Hi. Just does not care. He does not care. He is a bulldozer. Hi. He's got a bulldozer, I got a drama queen. I was gonna say, it sounds like a pug in the microphone. Yes, she is giving me doggy kisses right now. <laughs> because she has to show her affection. She will be affectionate the one, mo one moment, she will be psycho bitch the next. She is very particular. I want a Frenchie so bad, dude. Oh, they're great. O oldest one's a bit of an outlier. She's very standoffish, but she wants also wants all the attention. 
Oh, there's our solution. Bullseye. Hey, ho. Got you. All right. Okay, We're let's done. see. That's done. So we can... Let's clean that out a little bit. Get rid of these wanted posters. I forget, is wanted posters an achievement in this game? I feel like it is, from what I remember vaguely. I might be misremembering that one, though. Let's I think this. I completed all the achievements. There we go. That door is an option again. Something lit up for a second there. Time to go to the bathroom. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. In, in the bathroom. Be Just aggressive. Settle hints. In, in the bathroom. Just yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not ready to go there just yet, <laughs> so I'm doing the bathroom first. Maybe that's what we just want Bagel to do. Maybe we just want him to go to the bathroom. In, in the bathroom. Yeah, Bagel, just stare at the TV until it doesn't go to the bathroom. Jonathan! Bitch! Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that took a direction I didn't expect at the end there. That, that was literally how the bit goes. Like, be aggressive, be, be aggressive. B aggressive, B B aggressive, Calliope Mori, bitch. Man, I, I did not good. actually know that whole thing. I just like knew the B aggressive part just from like pop culture osmosis. I just saw uh, that was just the bit I saw from, or it was a clip from a bit from a VTuber. Ah. Uh. All right, let's see here. First and foremost, I guess I can just open these. Wow. Yeah, hi. What's she cleaning your ears? Mm -hmm. She being affectionate oh, right now? This one I actually did have to open. Hi, I, I, I'm sorry. You can't read the newspaper anymore. Someone else needs to use this stall. What? No. Oh. That whole overthinking thing again. Alright, that's four down. <laughs> How do I use the soap? Try my hands. Press button, receive bacon. I'm not caring about the bacon right now. I'm caring about the soap I can't get to. Yeah. Give me soap, dispense. <laughs> we'll even take some hand sanitizer. How do I get this? I honestly don't think you do. But it's it's the liquid money stuff, so it's supposed to turn into coins. Wow. That one I'm pretty sure you can get. I mean, Whoa. The only thing I haven't tried is Gooigi, I think, at this point. Yeah, chat, can I get that? That liquid soap? Because that should, that looks like money. There's a case if I need to trigger something else to activate it. Flash it? Nope. Wow. I don't think you can use it. I don't think so. All right. Well, let's get Gooigi going here. Ooh, I've already used one of these. That's and, a lot of food. Somebody was. Somebody was hungry. 
It's just all those toilet snacks. Need, yeah, I was gonna say, I needed a snack for the toilet. Scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Yeah, that, <laughs> that means we, we should be going to break here soon. A sword? Hey, it's a wild Camille. See, I was we... wondering, why would you need a sword in the bathroom that I realized to fend off people trying to steal your toilet paper? Exactly. And the food. And the food. Most importantly, the food. Okay, hey, why can't I open this? It's just because I can't do that as Guiji? I guess I just can't do that as Guiji, okay. Steamy. One coin. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. What was that? I need my bacon. Now, would you, would you like it extra crispy or mild crispy? Or no crispy? Uh, I, I'm more like medium. Flo I like floppy bacon. Bye-bye. Yeah, I like chewy bacon. I like all types of bacon. Reese likes it, like, on fire. She wants it burnt. I guess that was the only thing that was here, was that. Yeah, alright. Where have we not been? Or should we worry about that after break? Because it is... Time to take one, but we won't have much of a break. Yeah, let's take a break. Alright, let's pass some eggs. That's because she likes the wrong bacon. She she hates when she gets a bacon. She's like, I want it burnt through a crisp. Oh, I don't even know that. I'm, 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 fixing, I'm fixing robot. Sorry, it takes a bit to fix. That should fix What's it. What's he saying? Beep. It's a boop. Beep boop. No, we, we should be fine now. I'm surprised there's like no delay tonight too. Like people are on that immediately. I had 0.6 of a delay yesterday. That's crazy. Or the other day. That's crazy. All right, Jester's Pen. Thank you for the new sub. Phantom SVT for 66, Sly Hedge Kirby for 32, Lunatic Fringe 175 for 14, The Night of Void for 50, Headset Guy 37 for 58, James KT for 36, Stellar Halo for 42, uh, Wonder Tactics for 56, Ice Bez for 5, Nick EPC for 43, Albino Shamrock for 61. <laughs> Just read your message of <laughs> suck them and don't let that goo get washed away. KC7X0 for 22, M Morse 1017 for 21, and Blue Nexella for 83. Hmm, why do I have a file in progress titled Luigi's Belmont Strut? Oh no. Oh no. Thanks for seven folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What do we got in the carton? I see at least four. I see six. Okay. And they're all from different people. Let's start with this one from Green Day Rocks. Uh-oh, three. Uh-oh! Breaking news. The House of the Dead Overkill meme is no more. Agent G and Washington have played all the fucking music in the entire world. <laughs> That's it. No more music exists. Jiggy's sad. Uh, game fam with what a ham! Oh my god! Uh oh! Breaking news: Wizard the Wizard has turned John into a pig, but at least he's not Peppa Pig. Does <laughs> is that good? Uh, cool owl with parody bumper. Robocop's message. Re 
Greetings. It is I, Robocop, one of the characters in Proton John's channel. As and also know, in movies. Direct Relief is on a mission to provide <laughs> medical supplies to those who need it. And you can help. Simply go to Warrior.Gives and make a donation. Even just a small dollar will go a long way to help us execute this mission. But if you cannot donate at all, don't worry. Just by watching, sharing, and even hosting on your own channel, you're already helping to support this mission. And for that, TRG and Direct Relief give their biggest thanks. Hey, watch where you're aiming at. Ah! And then he died. Poor Robocop. Yeah, he'll be fine. I GB love stop D. motion. Yes, that was really well done, actually. Thank you, Cool Al. Chibi and Daisy say, Luigi working on his Belmont theme to go with that strut. It's a very spooky theme of Simon. Thank you, Chibi and Daisy. HB Bouncy 64 with I may have made a new meme format. Oh, God. What's my favorite basement song? Let's listen to basement track six. Hey, no. Hey, hey, hey! Do not touch the blender! Don't touch the f I thought that was gonna be the basement theme from Resident Evil, but that was also a good response too, Bowsy. <laughs> Do not touch the blender. And Westerford with Jiggy Colt. All the pauses are part of the movie. That's what I thought. That's it. There's nothing there, isn't there? It's just this. It's just this. Jiggy's dead. He's frozen. <laughs> Never it's like, oh man, I died. That's so weird. I fucking died. How did that happen? Weird. Huh? Yeah. Neat. Not familiar with that theme, but thanks for the new idea. Oh, Bowsy. Oh, no. You you may have unreleased, unleashed some hell. Hang on. For those who've never heard the basement theme from Resident Evil. Congratulations for getting away from it for so long, but unfortunately that time is now about to pass. Yeah. If you've never heard this, this is the basement theme from the Resident Evil 1 director's cut. Make sure this is not Silva Gunner. Okay, it's an actual. Oh, he's gone. We're going to go to break. When we come back, more of the Witch's Mansion. See you guys in a bit. You son of a bitch, you're leaving this here with us? <laughs> I'm so glad I got a mute button. All right. <laughs> you monster. This is my jam. You're, an, you're an animal, John. An animal. Don't worry. It's only got, it's only got only 20 to seconds crazy left. Bus. Oh, yeah, it could be worse. I could have given you Crazy Bus. I actually like Crazy Bus. Wow. I mean, I've heard some good remixes of Crazy Bus. Yeah, that's the only reason why. I think my favorite is the one to where they actually fixed the song. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I forget what exactly they did, though, to fix the Crazy Bus song. Wasn't it they... Did they shift the octave that it was in? What did they do? Something like that. Because they didn't change any of the notes or anything. They... Specifically change something like that. Other than leaving y'all with Sonic Chronicles music, don't 
don't don't tempt fate. Don't tempt fate, guys. Oh well, we're on break. How is everyone doing tonight? I have Kool-Aid. Nice. Cool. What flavor? It is grape today. Tomorrow it might be cherry. Or orange. Or whatever else I have left. I have a lot of flavors. Oh, I, was always, I was always like a lemonade or pink lemonade guy. Just don't so get blueberry. Don't get what? Don't get blueberry flavored Kool-Aid. It's gross. Well, I take that back. If you do, because it is the same color as Windex, put it in a Windex bottle and drink it out of that. Oh, God. Just... One of those people. <laughs> uh. It is literally the same color. <laughs> hey, Meester. Bye, Meester. John, I kind of want you to play that, but I don't know. What? What I linked he in put, chat. He, oh, hang he on. Put something in chat. I don't know is why. it is I'm it stream afraid. safe? It should be. Jeff plays guitar. Mick Gordon says I should cover Crazy Bus theme. So I never got the gem from that bathroom ghost. Thanks for showing me where it was. No worries, please. Crazy Bus main menu theme of Doom. <laughs> Is this it's just with the, with the Doom font? Yes. Oh my lord. Yeah, dude, that rips. All right, for those who want actual links to that, I'm dropping the link in chat again. This is the one that Popsy put in earlier. If you're watching the VOD, look up Jeff Plays Guitar, G-E-O-F-F, G-Off Jeff. Uh, and that is, video is called Mick Gordon Said I Should Cover Crazy Bus Theme, So I Did. August 6, 2021. Goes back to his his brooding corner. <laughs> All right, let's quickly read Don't alerts. Talk me angie. Me angie. Let's quickly uh, do alerts, art block, and then get back to Luigi's Mansion. And if I can find a message to read, there we go. From Hero Chaos, Chow. Two fun facts. Number one, the music that plays on the elevator is an elevator rendition of the main mansion theme in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And two, Smash Ultimate actually teased Luigi's Mansion 3 before an official announcement. Luigi was using the Poltergust G00 in Simon and Richter's reveal trailer, even using the plunger on the mummy to no avail. More so, Luigi's grab in Smash Ultimate is now the plunger, and his final smash has the Poltergust G00. If I recall correctly, this trailer predated an official Luigi's Mansion 3 announcement by just a few weeks. So interesting stuff. Cool, I was not aware of that. I actually noticed that when that trailer launched that he was wearing a different poltergust and that he is like, why does he have a plunger all of a sudden? Mega Nerd says, a lot of the supposed beta content of Luigi's Mansion 1 floating around on the internet is actually the result of misinformation. The time limit, for example, was just a demo feature. Literally the time limit on demo players. A full rundown is long. Oh, that's disappointing. I would have loved to have played a uh, time-limited version of Luigi's Mansion. But again, 
I really like Dead Rising. And that's also why I left the time feature on in Unsighted. So. Which, funny enough, it was why some people did not like Dead Rising. I mean, that's fair. That's entirely fair. Dead Rising, I feel, is more is more or less generous with it, but you just need to level up a little bit to be able to stay pace with it. No, but, yeah. Yeah, doing it from level 1 is rough. Doing it at, like, level 10? Much easier. Depending on, like, <laughs> what... if Okay, so, if your random upgrades include a bit more inventory space and a bit more health, you're set. Bleach Bummer says, Hey, John, came home from work to find out my two-year-old niece has a fever. Uh-oh, and my mom has a sore throat. Uh-oh. Thankfully, they did an in-home COVID test, and it was negative. Still praying they get better and soon, and that I don't catch whatever they're fighting. Well, here's hoping for the best for all of you. Sorry about that, Bleach. Uh, Sub-07 says, Monthly FGC fact, did you know? FGC content creator uh, Giuna, J-I-Y-U-N-A, so Giuna, had a thumbnail removed on YouTube that featured Biken's Strive artwork because it was deemed too sexually inappropriate. If you've even remotely seen Biken's artwork for Strive, you know why. Uh... Uba. Well, I know that. I'm just trying to think of what specifically about that artwork. It's... I think it's just literally because it shows too much cleavage. Oh, yeah, that's... That, I could see that. I think... It, okay, so this should be the one, right? I can't tell if this is Strive or if this is, uh... Sign. Or Xard, sorry. Because she wasn't in sign, I believe. This should be the art in question. Nope, that's Strive. That is Strive? Okay, so yeah. As as that being the thumbnail, I could see that, because you, you've clearly got the, the area here that definitely YouTube's auto thumbnail would get upset about. Alright. Uh, and no, that's not gonna get the bot in trouble, because, you know, it's in-game art. And it's covered up. And it's so far into the VOD video anyways, it's not gonna get the bot in trouble, because the YouTube auto thumbnail usually pulls from the first hour to half hour. So. But, I have heard about that. The Legend of Daniel says, uh, Luigi, Mario? Associate, sir, this is an Arby's. Alright, there you go. And with that, let's quickly go to Art Block. Art Block starts. Let me make sure it's up to date. Yep, there we go. Art Block starts right here. With my boy being very unimpressed. From Angel Night Rose. No matter how yummy it may be or how many sprinkles you put on it, Bagel does not approve of the donut. He looks very upset. I like the little bandages on his, his bum here. Nice touch. Nice touch, Angel. Poor guy. Poor Angie guy. Daisuke says, Biken has the biggest cleavage of all characters now. Like, what, in reality? Like, all of them together? I assume you mean just in Guilty Gear. Which is weird, because she didn't start like that. <laughs> but, I mean, whatever. Poor Jam was right there. Next up, it's my wife. From Ice Finch, made an art of Luca. Wanted to try thinner lines than I normally use for the body. What do you think? Looks good. It gives it a nice, uh, a nice feel to it, a nice uh, storybook-ish look to it. I like it. Thank you, Ice Finch. I'm more concerned about the now. Oh, don't worry. Daisuke will come up with something. Maybe Ava comes back. Fish fear me, women want me, and I pretend to know what I'm doing. <laughs> For Grease Lightning. Motivation Ho! Today's VTuber dress up is Pastel John as Rosami Lovelock, a gamer rose from uh, Nij. Niji Sanj. She's a self-proclaimed queen of Tekken 7. Her main is Noctis, an introvert. She seems to be a good fit both design and personality-wise. I put my faith in the future generations of Big Buck Hunter fans. I want to believe that little kid came back and found a new favorite game. Alright, that's a great quote if that's true. That's amazing. Thank you, Greased. Next up, Issa Rosa. Ooh, it's a cute one too. Look at this. From Mika, I drew Rosa John listening to music while waiting for her bubble tea. I wanted to draw her wearing galaxy leggings after seeing the star leggings. 
Yeah, so when I had to do the Rosa cosplay in the hoodie, I almost went and ordered galaxy leggings just to go with it. And I kind of wish I had, because I think they look really nice. But now I want those star leggings, and I want, like, like sleeve, tattoo sleeve look of star leggings, too, that I can put on for my arms, too. I just like stars. This is very cute, Mika. Thank you so much. And one of the few times she's unzipped the hoodie, and it's, it has been fully dressed underneath. Niji Sanji. Okay, thank you. Next up from Esper Magic, I drew Bagel Luxio. Luxio from Pokemon are aggressive cats, so I thought it might fit the guy. Yeah. 100%. Also, I realized after drawing this that the color scheme is oddly close to Shiny Luxio. Nice. Thank you, Esper. Next up. Totally normal hotel. Hmm. That hotel had bad vibes. Zero out of ten. Oh, hey, first brew post. Oh, thank you, 404. Hell yeah. That's great. Hmm. Hmm. The last piece I got here from Yukai 5, it's a lamp. Sorry, this is like a week late, also no time to post. Eh, it's fine, you're good. Anyway, it's meant to do this last week, but never, better late than never. This is inspired by the reunited bumper. Let's just say that this version of lamp decided to do a bit of a change. Ah, so there you go. This is, this is Lord Donator Lamp. Or Lamp Donator? Either way, it's ready for war. Thank you, Yukai. Lord Lamp. Did I say Yukai 5? That's an S, isn't it? No, that's a 5. Yukai 5. All right, and I believe that's it. Our block's caught up. Let's get back to the gaming. Nice. All right. I don't know how much longer we're going to go. It depends on what the cat's going to let me do, I feel like, at this point. But let's see. We, we At the very least, we can clear up the last two gems here and probably get to floor three and do some stuff. Or we can go back to floor five and get all the stuff there. Because I feel like we already know where most of the stuff in floor five is. Well, how will I know what they're serving now? Food's well, done. you just gotta go in and get a menu. You have no choice but to eat the food. The haunted, haunted food. Just ask for the chef special. And I'm sure they'll serve it with Ecto Cooler. Oh, I thought that was just how you open the fucking door. <laughs> nope. I, just, I thought that's how you open the fucking door, not how you got the gem. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just turn the handle. Nah, doors don't work like that. See, he didn't even turn the handle. I've been proven wrong. <laughs> In the dumbest of ways. <laughs> I've been defeated. I got so I fucking lucky that he, did, he straight up did not turn that handle, otherwise I would have been so bad. <laughs> You had one opportunity to show that I wasn't a clown. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, a motherfucker! Oops, that's not what I wanted to use. Well, let's, let's clean up all the, the cornucopia up there. God, all this makes me think of is the fucking Adult Swim cornucopia bumper. Let's <laughs> put it in the cornucopia! Put it in the cornucopia! Cornucopia! Put it in the cornucopia! <laughs> Mad cow! Put moment. it in the cornucopia! Plus, seeing as the fact like we're now having to do that mage job now that she's currently out of a job. What? <laughs> well, since, since now that we. We've captured the maid, and now there's nobody to oh. clean. Oh, that was we what have I to missed. Do our okay. job now. Yeah, well, I mean, we're getting paid for it. She was getting paid a lot based on all the money we're finding, at least. All right, it's, it's, is, really... it, is it stuff it in the cornucopia, or is it stick it in the cornucopia? Stuff it in the cornucopia. <laughs> Seven seal. Oh. Stuff it in the cornucopia. Now for my next trick. I can understand why the bread would have, you know, steam lines. Why does the cheese? Because it is stinky cheese. Smelly. It's Limburger. Ugh. No. I assume that was actually supposed to be like rats or something just then. 
Yo, get the pie. Get the pie. I'm getting the bread. Steamed bread. The steam is still coming out of that. The basket was where it was coming from. It must be keeping the bread warm, I guess. Now, if only we were actually in this food and not a poultry guy. So much food in the garbage. All this so wasted, wasted food. food. Oh, and there's fire coming out of the, the kitchen. That's a good sign. That's not oh, fire. The it's the wow. smoke of progress. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. That is smoke. smoke, which means there is fire in the kitchen. Now, if you wow. suck up the smoke, then there's no fire. Oh, I see where you're getting at. No, really? I can't do that? Okay. Fine, you get to stay there, stinky cheese. Don't mind me, just breaking everything. All in the name of progress. All in the name. Sorry, I saw a $5 bill up there. Let me just suck it up real quick. <laughs> right, let me roast this pumpkin. Damn it. it. Give it a nice sear. It brings out the flavor. It's like to imagine someone just comes into your restaurant, and just sees a $5 bill, and decides to pull out a vacuum and just destroy <laughs> every no. single piece of fine china that you have. Not just a vacuum, a fucking, uh, like, strapped to his back vacuum. I brought a portable vacuum, because I thought it was a good idea. Okay, this is a thing I remember not quite figuring out. I did something wrong here when I played this originally. I don't know if I'm supposed to do things. I'm supposed to get rid of a specific thing here, or what? Ow! Oh. The fish just bitch slapped you. Cook roast it. this fish. No, freeze it. Freeze it deserves it. torment. Ruin its whole career. Is that? It just, we should oh, suck right. it up. There's an angler in here for some reason. I didn't want to say it out loud. Well, that's the thing. It's got stuff in there I want. Oh, right. It's about to say. Remember how I said I figured I did something wrong last time I was here? That would be it. <laughs> Forgot about Gooas. He lives here now. I swear there's something on the shelves in here, too. I mean, I just saw some money disappear, so I guess that is the case. Wow. Oh, I think I just saw the gem, actually. I think it's in this box. Yep, it is. It's in this ice. That would be what I remember. Bye-bye. Oh, and that, too. Pig. Money pig. But why in the freezer? Look. Yeah. Sometimes... Keep your savings cold. I... So as they say, I guess they were getting trying to get some cold hard cash. So did I screw up by turning off those flames already? Oh. Probably, yeah. <laughs> did you I don't just like get how that? you guys just <laughs> glossed over that. <laughs> <laughs> what, the cold hard cash thing? Yeah, yeah, I want to die now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can turn it back on. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Just a pure pain upon hearing that. <laughs> Here we go. Call all mezzanine gems. And an eggplant for good measure. Evil J. Bryan has a better one. They have to freeze their assets. God damn it. <laughs> I swear you picked this game just for those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. I mean, heck. I How dare assume... you make such bold accusations against me. I mean, right. John did have to liqu liquidate his assets. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Anyways, as I was gonna say, uh, now that we've gotten all the gems, is that just it for a floor? Like, like once you get all gems, Dude. I have nothing else to worry about? Dude. Unless it's story I relevant? I thought there was still something in the kitchen. Is there still something in the kitchen? I thought so. We have all the gems. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure you come back here at some yeah, point. Yeah, chat says for now. There's a boss. Okay. Okay. I figured as much. Hi. There's also booze eventually. Yeah, I saw that. I kind of groaned when I noticed that was there. Of course. They, at this point, the booze are just a staple. Yeah. Hotel shops. All right. Brand new content for me. I have never seen Floor 3. Oh, I remember liking Floor 3. 3 and floor 8 three. were the ones. Is it, is it 8 or was it 7 that I remember? Oh, my 4 now was for something different. Gotcha. Alright, from here on out, I'm blind. Oh, actually, I could have just gone to the fifth floor now that I think about it. And done all that. Should I... What should I do? I say just go ahead and get this floor done, and technically just work our way back up to five. Eh, I guess I can do that. We are already here. A lot of people are actually saying go to floor five. Hmm. Oh. Favorite Luigi, the green one, the scared one, or the friend of dog? Yeah, friend of dog's winning. Not surprised. Wow. Wow. Okay, see, there's one answer that they didn't put onto that poll. They didn't put the wa. Oh, yeah, they could have said wa, Luigi. Hmm. Need key. Well, I think that's just something you can blame on the provider of the poll. Who made this poll? I must know. Which one of you did it? <laughs> <laughs> I must inform you how incorrect you are. I'd say do this work because you spend a while getting collectibles, but you do you. I might, I might as well. Let's look at the actual map we got here. It's not too bad. Coffee, that way. Money? Okay. He wasn't moving for a second there, so I wasn't sure. I also see that up there. The other frame is moving. Hmm? The other frame is wiggling. Yeah. Can we blow oh, that up? Hmm? Can we no. not blow it up? No. To be fair, there's some things that move that you just can't do anything with. Favorite Luigi just for Shamrock. The Wa, the one Trey wanted. I won't, won't reveal myself. Jesus. Wait, which was the one I wanted? Oh, that's the thing, they clearly don't remember, which is why they wrote that. <laughs> oh. Nice, a telephone. You can prank call someone. Yeah. Hello. See, I could probably take a guess who makes the pull who made the pull because it's usually about a couple of us anyway get back your money ghost we ain't done fuck Cole my deductive reasoning has narrowed it down to maniacal Bubba or Alita I'm gonna just say it's probably maniacal probably money Ho oh, oh. You literally beat the gold out of him. It's all mine now. We've got a lot of money. 
I guess you could say you finally made bank. There's no bank here, though. You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Let's make this appear first. The ominous glow. The ominous glow of goo. And cleanliness. Hello, ominous yellow glow. Ew, toilet key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ha. Luigi, you know where that's been. Maybe Oh, you're wearing gloves. I guess you're fine. It's also the size of him. Yeah. yeah that's what Somehow he Somehow will shrink. put this balloon of a ghost in this toilet because I just hate Luigi in particular. Yeah, fuck that guy. Keeps breaking the bathroom doors and interrupting people in their business. Oops. And then he also keeps flashing people. Why? Right, what we got down here? Spending his goo after them. Ew. 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 Ew is goo. Disgusting. No, oh, no, they are right. I can just use the vacuum. I don't have to try to do anything fancy. Huh, neat. I still want the technology to explain how Gooigi has the like, same effects as a vacuum and a flashlight. Oh, you know what? You were thinking the with flashing the the smaller rodents. Yeah. I think that was a thing in two. That's a thing in a couple of them, isn't it? And I mean, it was working earlier, so. Either or, I guess. Because he can't made a pact with demons. You know what? At this point, I would believe that. Oh, Luigi, I'm sorry. In order to make my new upgrade to the Poltergust, I had to make a deal with Satan Ghost. <laughs> I just saw the poll. I was running. Do you appreciate toilet balloons? The answers were dot 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 what and yes. Unsurprisingly, dot 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 what it. won that. Alright, so all that was just for the diamond, huh? E. Okay. More of that yellow soap. Let's move. Let's go to the shopping district. Hmm. Huh? See that key just shrunk and then it vanished. It's a magic key. It's a definitely a very magical key that he found. Has Luigi considered taking up skills and lockpicking? <laughs> oh my god, Paul Blart died. Yeah, that's not disproving that this is Paul Blart. But they give the nice, the, like, the funk music, which is fantastic.
diamond key. And what do we need to worry about around here? Wow! Well, Goose, you go do this first. We're here to commit a heist, John. Luigi, did you see that? That security guard had an elevator button. I did. I'm too busy stealing all this clothing, though. Looks like he went into the security office. Follow him. Go. No, I'm just making money. Here to commit a heist. We're doing it the stealth option. However, if things get too crazy, Trevor's waiting on the roof. The crossover everybody wanted. Paul Blart meets Bizzard the Wizard. Oh no, I can't pay for anything I stole. He can't shut up. I'm busy doing shit. Favorite Paul Blart antagonist? Vex Sims, James Cantor, Vincent Sofa. Just in case they added something else. Let's get this nice, this nice dress. Oh. There we go. I'm so paranoid around, like, the golden animals that I'm like, I still need, feel like I need to use the flashlight. I mean, considering that you're saying pretty fast. He can't shut up! Jesus Christ! I'm doing shit. He's trying to play video game. That's a nice dress. Let's bring this one home to Rosa. Or Daisy. Or let's bring it to Edo. Edo, how you doing, girl? You can turn off EGAD hints. You can turn off EGAD pestering you in the options. I take it that is guide? Nope, that does not seem to be that. Tender. Settings? She has a Carby emote. Hints from EGAD, there we go. I don't mind him messaging me every now and then, but he's, he's going on a little thick on it. All right, let's run countermeasures for Edo. Oops, uh, that's 8-bit. Let's do regular. much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. Ours is hanging out for a little bit longer. We're playing some Luigi's Mansion 3. It's, uh, it won the uh, the game clearing thing we were doing, the March Madness Bowl. It was the overall winner. It beat Pokemon Snap. Sorry, new Pokemon Snap. Alright, I'll make Egad shut up because, Jesus, that's a bit too much he's doing. Hate that. Luigi no like. That one just broke in a weird way. 
Hey, I just turned those off! <laughs> Didn't I? Did, it, did, you, did you save it? Okay, come on, this is... <laughs> Found some money. The store just has random industrial pipes in its walls. Just exposed. See, I figured because the key was there, I was going to find... Or, because this lock was there, I was going to find the key in here, but I guess not. I think I've already checked everything else in here. Okay, I swear... You saw me turn that off, right? I thought you did, yeah. Yeah. Did it not save? Yeah, they're off! I think story hints can't be turned off. Well, if, in that case, I'll just fucking leave that on, then. We get the key, will he shut up? Yeah, I have to go get the key, so he'll shut up. It sucks. I hate when, like, they kind of railroad your, your searching around and stuff like that. Especially in such a, like... Series where you need to search around like Luigi's Mansion. Alright. Let's go get the damn key so he gets shuts up. But did you see Paul Blart? It's like, of course I'm not gonna miss the fucking key. It's making us a loud ass noise. In the middle of the hallway. Wow, that was. Not what I expected. One of everything. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, this is this is being too particular right now. Now smash it. It's still going. Oh no, it stopped finally. Okay. Yeah, it's still You absolutely going. can smash that. I know you can. That's why I was aiming at the wrong spot. And its existence. Ah, so that's how I, I do the thing on the fifth floor as well. Wow. I did not know how to do that. I was gonna laugh if you destroyed it before getting the gym. Can you do that? Yeah. What does that do? That mean you can't get the gym? You just have to, like, go up a floor and then go back to reset the, the floor. Oh. Huh, two. That's a number. Oh, well. I just got a little wind-up top card. Money. I hope Luigi's been very helpful for you, Luigi. Don't forget that he can move through tight spaces. Don't be afraid to use him. There now, Egad will probably shut up. Hopefully, because I would like to go do literally anything else. Right. Actually, wait. Wouldn't I? Can I just send? Can I just send Luigi in there, anyways? Yeah, I don't care about the key. Just fucking go in. Take all the souvenirs. There's some boo mugs, there's some boo backpacks, some boo hats, some boo spiders. We can take all this and resell all this boo merch on eBay. I like that you can literally see the key inside of Yoichi. <laughs> He's not wearing a bell. Where else is he gonna keep that? I'm mean, gonna guess. Stuck. Yeah, well, I mean, that was lucky for me. <laughs> I think his pathing broke when he hit me. This is a very odd store. 
Oh, it sells piranha plants too, nice. Also, it wasn't a balloon in the toilet, it was a plushie. Ah, okay, well I don't know if that's better or worse. Well, we gotta have another pull now. Do you like toilet plushies? <laughs> I don't think we need another pull. <laughs> toilet plushies or toilet balloons. Help us decide our next item for the jo Proton John merch store. I don't, I don't think that's, that's what's happening. I, th I feel like that's more of a Tim thing to have a toilet plushie. Uh, also that. What's in the fridge? Ooh. Very rich snack. Shit. Oh, he's back. This is the point where I would say he's high on, probably too high on iron, but that's gold, not iron. Oh my god, the iron. spin, the spin. Big speed. You jerk. Get out of here. That's just really weird quiet. That's so weird quiet. <laughs> Actually, now think about it. how the hell does he even speak to begin with? He's made of goo. There's eh. no mouth. Warble. He, he, he makes sounds. Ah, oh, nice. Some steamed money. I don't think that's what they meant by laundering your man your money. I think we're killing Popsky with these puns. Bro, I died like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> Oh, Guiji drops the item, so I gotta be careful about warping. Ah, interesting. Have you ever played Ghostbusters the video game? Yeah, it's basically Gears of War. I like it. I never did finish it though. But man, destroying stuff in that game was fun. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I, I beat that game. It was. I, I like it how there's actually one achievement to where you have to get earn like. Oh, I forget how much like an actual property damage. But then there was like another one for a playthrough for getting like less than 10,000 in damages. Oh yeah, no, that one was brutal to get. Because it's so easy to break shit in that game. Oh, never mind. I get what they want me to do. Smashy, smashy. Oh, unless that happens. Masticatious, take the jewels. I realize it's turned into payday Everybody. suddenly. This is a rob robbery. <laughs> that one flew. Oh, was that the case <laughs> I was throwing? Oh my god. Yeah. Gotta repay that psychotic gang lord after he trashed his house. I knew I shouldn't have taken that that loan. Let's have fun with the big one. Well, if I aimed correctly. I want that. I want that top head. The top shelf. Oh, it's very fancy. Let's break it. Oh, it's hiding money. No wonder. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> that was believable. Dry. Money. Mm. He's too powerful as goo. 
Okay, we probably should have done something about that, though. <laughs> I, I'm more like the fact that it was just a blank, just no cell reaction to anything. Luigi is, is indeed far more powerful than regular Luigi. My strongest form yet. Boo, why aren't you scared? I have seen things far worse than death. <laughs> oh, ho. I am Luigi, destroyer of ghosts and worlds. Which keeps ones? Look, keeps looking like I can destroy this. And destroyer of property. <laughs> oh, I've definitely mastered that. <laughs> Put that in my pocket. Hmm. How do we get up there? Wow! Wow! Use this. Oh, I didn't even think to use the suitcase to break the walls. Good idea. That's actually also probably the correct answer if there even is one. Nope. Which is weird because it really does look like it can be broken. Nope. Just coincidentally looks like it can be broken. Press in the middle thing real quick. Hmm? You see the thing in the middle? That I can't jump on? Yeah, try slamming it with the uh, the suitcase again. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, sure enough. I didn't even notice that that moved earlier. Did that happen when it like the physics broke? I Must don't even remember. Caused that. Everything's just one giant blur. Hang on. I, can't, I cannot get this in the right position. There. Oh, I remember his goo. That was excessive. Also very dangerous. Think if there were people in the store. I thought I was going to start firing fucking missiles at me. Just casual missile barrage. The Just hidden missile. Oh, I slammed it with the ghost first. That's why it moved. Ah, okay. I didn't even notice I had done that. So good pointing that out. All right, well, we've already cleaned this one out. They made a third one of Luigi's Mansion? Yeah, this was now for years. Uh, 2019, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, Halloween. Sounds right. Oh, neat. There was more! Wait, why can't I just step in this money? You're actually gonna make me vacuum it up? Oh, that's dumb. I'm a little baby ghost. Oh, that's a lot of baby ghosts. Release the minions! And they're dead. <laughs> Good times. Starting uh, right. question why this 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 store's cash register as well as the previous one has the key to the other stops shops cash register in their cash register. Eh, they're just very friendly shops. 
That's just a security reason. Right. I guess this was supposed to be... Was there supposed to be something in here, or is that just coincidental? I think you, it was more cash. Oh. And you got it when you were trying to get the... When you were getting the ghost. Okay. And I assume pulling well, that lever is going to close that room, but I'm going to check it anyways. No. Fresh. Once again, Luigi... Well, no, this is actually Gooigi this time. Just... Violating privacy. Okay. Where's that with his lifeless eyes? The, what was the point of that? Just a random fight? I mean, you can... Yep. You said yourself earlier, mirrors. Yeah. I already did the mirror thing. Yeah, I, already, I got everything done in here, so... Brown mannequin on the left. I already did that. Brown mannequins would open up that side door. Unless it does things multiple times. Which I don't think it does. Yeah, I can't even lock onto it anymore. Oh, never mind. Still can. Okay, sure. The mirror's just showing off the pipe. Yeah, we've already done the pipe. We already went through it. This had a bunch of money in it. See, we already did that earlier. This room's clean, as far as I can tell. Don't worry, I am thorough. Hey, John, what's Rosa's favorite vacation spot? It's Luma? Eh, probably. I always thought it was the center of the sun. Whoa. You know, famous vacation spot, center of the sun. Wow. That's it's my hot favorite. this time of year. Yeah, it's very, very warm. All times of the year, I feel. Right, I got Spade currently here. Did you try a blacklight on the thing next to the diamond store? Oh, the ladder? Oh, you're right. I didn't fucking try that. Thank you. Yep. God damn it. Why is it always the most obvious things I ever fucking try? <laughs> you're thinking now. See, I just don't say anything thinking that you'll eventually get it. And then you just Dude, walk I, like, away. I, I said, like, I'm going to keep fucking forgetting about the damn, uh, like, one a thing I have every time. Unless I literally just do this. If I do that, I'm never going to get anything done. Alright, all that four. Oh, and a gem. That's five of them. I have finally invented the Mossy Turkey Turner. Would you like me to share this recipe? Oh my god. Yes, I need to know. The what? I assume this is an alcoholic beverage. Uh, mossy, turney, mossy Turkey Turner was a, a meal Wheel of Fortune guess. Hmm. And I know someone had said their plan was to turn a bunch of those into drinks. Or I think a meal said it was a cocktail. And uh, someone has tried to turn it into a drink. The spin is a valid strat? I mean, yeah, I guess. It's just, it does take a bit. But I really should have thought to use the black light on that. That was kind of dumb that I didn't. Alright. Spade. Which, again, we've already done. We've already absconded with all the merchandise. Hey, remember that you have the black light? <laughs> I think the game's just rubbing into my face at this point. <laughs> you forgot this early, you idiot. Right, 
club key. Cool sunglasses. Ghost is here. I also like when, if you could see Luigi on screen, he just kind of gives a thumbs up while he's still kind of like in his weird little, like, sleep state. <laughs> yeah, I know, like he was just excited, like, hey, hey, I got it. Oh, I'm gonna go back to sleep, hang on. Oh no, the children are back. Oh no, get the children. Kids. Uh, I can't get him. Hang on. There we go. Thank you. Perfect. And I destroyed all the furniture. <laughs> I just, okay, I saw the sleeping thumbs up then. That was great. He did the excited yes earlier when we did it. I just realized something. These ghosts can go through walls, and yet you can also use them to smash physical objects. Eh, it's a really powerful vacuum cleaner. And for my next trick. That was impressive, though. I feel a little bad. Oh no, escalators, my one weakness. The only thing worse than escalators are eels. Eel. I assume it's not a simple case of just going through here, which means I think I gotta break some glass. Coat the rim of a glass in turkey gravy, one shot of potaguaya, cannabis infused liquor, and one shot of cream de menthe shaken and served in glass. Garnish with a piece of turkey. All right, that's the mossy turkey turner. Again, repeating, coat the rim of a glass in turkey gravy, one shot of potaguaya, cannabis infused liquor, and one shot of cream de menthe shaken and served in glass. Garnish with a piece of turkey. I feel like that's just like the perfect and also the worst Thanksgiving dessert drink. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So that clearly moves. Ryan, no. No, no drink that. Bad. Did he say he would? Yes, he sounds it sounds wonderful right now. Hmm? Let's go through the list, shall we? I don't have anything nearby to seemingly break this. Pagoas can't go through it. And we've already tried plundering basically everything? No, we haven't. Uh, yes, I saw nothing. Just, just let me grab those. Oh, two of them! Gold bars. You literally smacked ghosts against each other until the money spat out. I mean, that seemed like the correct strategy, right? I mean, you could say you, you're setting the bar. Dude, really? 
I heard Popsky oh. groan. I'll fix the one. problem, don't worry. There we go, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's been ejected from the call. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Language, young man. Such powerful crimes deserve such powerful punishments. Alright, well, let's see what else is left here. Nope. Get out of there. There we go. Give me that star key. That's a big key. Key right. moves. Hmm? The key moves. Oh, yeah. I thought you said it moved, not moves. Oh. You know, the famous star cow. I heard something. Oh, I didn't even notice those shells were missing. <laughs> and some hair combs. How right. Now we're in business. Gooigi making bank. Alright, I think that looks like that's it for here now. Uh oh, the bruisers. What a joik. What a joik. Oh no. Now they're just stairs again. Oh, uh, now they're both down. Cue Mario 64 music. Do, 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 do. Oh god, that would kill a man. Yes, it would. Why? Thankfully, Luigi's not a man. He's a coward. <laughs> He's a chicken. Big chunky boys are back. Big chunky boys. Ready for a fight. And then big chunky boys. Hi. Oh, right. They hurt. The chunky boys got a lot of health. Mhm. Mm and you gotta get behind them to actually get an attack in, which is the annoying thing about them. Perfect. Oh, oh, yeah. Perfect. He was quite an aggressive one, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch him. He'll be a big help to my research, though. Keep up the good work, okay? <laughs> I'm going up the wrong escalator. Let's go, Luigi! Work them legs, baby! He, he, you he thought Luigi was a tough guy, so we needed to show him how tough he really was. How many gems am I missing? I'm just missing the one gem, so that means I'm missing the gem ghost, and there's still two rooms I haven't been in. Alright. Let's go fight Paul Blart, and then that seems like a good place to stop. Hmm. Huh? This key was a lot bigger earlier. <laughs> They've all been bigger. Hmm. Tactical roll. I love that they tried to do it too. Okay, that's kind of <laughs> great. I'm scared of everything. 
and feel pain apparently as a ghost. But I've got a gun now. A water gun. Oh, I guess it would because I gotta send Guiji in. Hang on, I gotta steal your shit first. Alright, Guiji, time to do some work. Well, after I ransack this place. I love how he's just squirting water and sounds so smug of himself. Meanwhile, I'm just literally just stealing everything in sight. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Paul what Blart. Did hurt you? You'll never get me. I'm safe in here. Uh huh. <laughs> oh no, what that damage. That damage was from the Bruiser fight earlier. No, I was just saying. I wonder if the water actually does damage to Luigi. I doubt it. Let's find out. Nope. He just looks very uncomfortable as it happens. Hi, it's me. It's like, oh shit! Oh, I didn't think he could do that. It's like that. Salute. Salute the sun. Did you get spare sunglasses? Yep, we sure did. Oh, there's star ones now. Ooh, fancy. Uh oh. Ah, damn it. One off. Oh, Guiji just gets his health back over time? That's great. I mean, he only has 25, though. Yeah, I mean, I get it. And... GG. Sucks to be you. Dude, really? You are fucking oh, yeah. killing me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I fixed the problem again. <laughs> hey, I got the number two! Oh, are you sleeping? Huh? Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see here. I assume the diamond's gotta be in here, right? I feel like we've checked every power of my comprehension. <laughs> Please stop abusing your power. See, this is why I missed when Cole was also a VIP, because I had more people to torment. <laughs> <laughs> you can mess with Laughing Boy, but he's sleeping. So I don't think it'll do much. Have fun with this jewel? Great. I assume I can't get the jewel to spawn until I put the, the switch in, right? I assume that is the case. So I probably have to leave and come back to get him to actually appear. What is this? I mean, I'm missing the diamond on this floor. I think I know where this one is, but... I, mean, I can think of a couple things I haven't checked, but not much. Uh... Oh, it's that one. Oh, it's the one in the fucking oh. roof. It, can I even get this now, or do I have to come down later? No, you... Basically, you, said you got all the abilities you need to get all the gems. Well, oh, I'm asking, do I... Can I, like, do I have to go to a higher floor to come down? I am actually asking that question. Because I've seen the area it's no. in. You can get it now. Okay. I can get it now without leaving this floor. Yes. yes. Okay. Alright, then let's figure it out. No, oh, I guess I didn't have to do that from map. Uh, A plus this to zoom. So we would be right there. That simple. Uh, 
At this point, I'm pretty sure John's just gonna try to go for all the gems. Yeah, I think at this point that's the case. Especially since most of us could probably try to guide him to any of the other ones if he gets stumped. I'm gonna see if I can get this one without any help first, though, but Jumny's warning does make me cautious. Hmm. Which means he'll figure this out in like two, in three minutes. Yeah, if only. You're being timed. Why? I just said I'm not going to. Additional pressure. Thanks, appreciate it. Wow. No problem. Glad Look, I could help. Just, just far as I'm aware with some people here in general, it's always being told Oh, this is probably one of the hardest gems out there, and literally figuring it out in, like, no time flat. And then it's the simple ones that just give the most trouble. I mean, that does usually seem to be the case for me. The easy ones are usually the ones I blank on the most. Okay, let's see here. So we clearly need to get higher somehow. I see a path up there. That means there's a crack somewhere. So that does lead up into that room. And so if we work backwards, it looks like... It does look like there's a crack there. So it's one of two things. Either somewhere in here is a pipe I just can't see. No, I didn't want to do that. I actually want to use my spin. does not fucking help. Or... Somebody can't break this. Oops. Incorrectly. Aim true. And we can't plunger this guy. See, I thought I was on the right track earlier when I was actually trying to... Uh, get through that wall earlier. Just trash. Oh, hang on. Is it that simple? Well, that answers that. All right, Lewis. was that two minutes seven seconds nice <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was a good thing I added that extra minute because I was originally gonna say two to be fair if you said two minutes and you didn't give it to me on seven seconds I would have been upset with you and it wasn't the seven seconds including running over there I got. I counted the second you crawled through. Oh, you stopped the second I crawled through. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Never mind. Then. All right. There and we I go. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. It's the harder ones I can seem to piece together pretty, pretty decently, but the easy ones for some reason just stump me. All right, and that makes the third floor done. So let's go back down to Egad's lab. How many am I missing on five? I think all of them. Yeah. I forget, does the elevator tell you? I don't remember, honestly. Uh, I don't think the elevator says anything. 
No, you're right, it doesn't. Well, let's quickly pop back up here and see. Because I think you usually have to go to that floor, then you can open up the map, and then it'll show you. It's probably because you played so many games that you're thinking higher on the difficulty curve than the game is at. Uh, maybe. And yeah, someone else says, that was one of the harder ones. I didn't think that was hard because there was an obvious pathway there. I mean, I saw the path up top, so I'm like, okay. There's either a crack I need to find or something else. And then I looked around, and that's what I found. We're missing three up here. Do we just go for the three and then call it? Because it is getting late. Uh, yeah, I'm dying over here. Long. We I, killed you about an hour ago. <laughs> I, was, I just heard three different messages at once. Like, what are we, are we doing? Are we going to do these quickly? I guess do put it up to a poll. I'll well, do a poll, and meanwhile, I'll just start going at it. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, all right. We'll keep going at it then. No, 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 no. no, no. That ghost was all washed up. Coming to my home. <laughs> on the dot on the day of my daughter's wedding. Don't let me do it again. <laughs> oh yeah. Instead of just change your name. Do it! Everyone else does it, motherfucker! I don't give a shit no more! He's a broken Already man. done. You're the one driving the stream anyway, so, like, with most of my answers, it's up to you. I mean, I might as well just do it. I'm already here. And then we can start clean uh, next week. <laughs> Fuck off. Under punishment. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's why I'm saying that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you just assumed he was going to make another pun. No, I just figured he was going to read into what I said being one because I'm in the laundry room and I said uh, clean slate. They're starting clean. I don't know, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was just laughing at the stupid name. I don't want to come anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you at this point. I've done it, chat. I've broken Popsky. It looks like there's a spot to go out. Not Path of Exile, not... What, whatever else Popsky enjoys, but just bad, terrible puns. Take his WWE from him. From me or Popsky? Yes. Oh, hang on, I gotta answer the phone. Oh, maybe not. Here, it's for you. Wait. Are you reading that? How did he get back? You reading that? Enjoying that? <laughs> okay, come on now. So rude. Uh oh. Big boy. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Did, did you leave? <laughs> Big boy? The fuck? Uh... Fuck it, leave him. Oh my. You hurt his feelings. Oh, 
was trying to do more than that. Uh, <laughs> did I spawn him in another room? Where the fuck did he go? Did he run down the hallway? I can hear him grunting. He's, he's still growling. Oh, there he is. He actually did spawn in another room. Alright, can you go from here, Gooey? Because yeah, it looked like you could earlier, but I guess not. You're trying to, though. Am I in the way? No. Okay. Oh my god, is there just everyone in e someone in every room now? Yes. Yeah, that's why I was hell, saying like it kind of becomes a pain to explore floors you've already done. Which I, which I guess is understand to kind of keep you... I guess not bored. Hmm. But it's a pain in the ass to explore. Uh oh. When you're constantly having to refight <laughs> oh, okay. enemies. And go on down. Uh. Yeah, that I was think weird. The drain's clogged. It's me. I clogged the drain. How many times do we have to tell you to stop clogging down the drain? I can't stop. It's all I know. Why is it all you know? It's the clog drains. We raised you better than this, John. No, you didn't. Don't make me call your mom. <laughs> it's like 6 a.m. No, 7 a.m. where she is right now. Wait, could he actually... No, it's six. Uh, and no, he doesn't know the number as far as I'm aware of. As far as you're aware of? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Neat. The physics just do that the entire game? That just random shit like that happens? Yes? Question mark? Raz is having fun over there. He's having a great time. And then and you just murdered him. Exploded him into money. Oh, I just turned him into money, that's all. He'll have a better life as cash. Night Delta Corn, hopefully you had a fun time. Alright, let's... I still haven't found what I expected was going to be easy gems. I know where one is physically. I already got that, so I guess there's nothing on it. I got the one out there. I'm trying to think of what rooms I tried that had drains I didn't get Gooigi down. Some ladders falling over. Nothing to worry about here, because I already got that one. What color gyms do we have right now? Uh, we are missing two and six, so we're missing red and yellow. Assuming it's the same seven colors every time. This is the one yes. I looked in, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> Nothing in this one by the looks of it. And that should be the one we already checked then, right? This one here, or did I check the one to the left of that? Did you check this one? Or no? 
nothing, nothing for Guiji in here. Only for a way to, for it to melt. So we know where the red one is. It's over here. It's right there. I just don't know how to shake it loose. Or how to get goo in there. And I assume... Oops. Is this going to be a jam or is this just going to be some more treasure? Oh, I didn't expect a heart. The chest gave you its heart. I already had 99 hearts. I've had that many hearts on hand at all times. Quite a problem. Yeah, there's gotta be some way to walk out there. Can I get there from there? Can Guiji go through that? Let's find out. That looks like that's Peach's room. I assume based on the outline that that is the case. Oh my god. I just want to move on. Get out. All right, you guys have fun reading newspaper. I'm going in here. That's how I get out there. Oh crap. No, I don't want the bed sheets. I don't want the bed sheets. Really? I can't open doors. Keep forgetting they have to be in the same room. What? Oh. It's just being stupid. There we go. Water some more flowers. Water some more flowers. Yep. We've already watered somehow. All right, cool. Now, can just Luigi do this? It looks like. Whoa. I did it. I did it. So now this brings up the question. We have that other ledge that it looks like we can get out to. It's very clearly highlighted on the map. How do we get to that? Because I assume they're not in the bathroom what we're looking for. Chat, confirm or deny, is it out on that ledge out there? What, the last gem? Yeah. No. No? Okay. Cool. Thank you, then. Wow. Peach shits pearls. Who knew? Yeah, my? Well, I guess she many people always... Flush, so. So does that mean it's that we have to call her Pearl now? I don't think she wants to be Pearl. Princess Pearl Peach. It's a, it's a little too much P alliteration. But she's not such a peach anymore. What, because she's dead? No, because she shits pearls. Oh. I thought she, she's more of a work of art now. I figured the last name would play more into it. Eh.
Mario's gross pizza room. <laughs> I'm scared because I'm Luigi. It's my character development. More than Mario. Really? Really? I showed personality <laughs> in this game. Oh, sorry. I... Like... Never mind, I misunderstood what he said. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like I've said before, Mario was designed specifically to have no personality so that the player could put theirs in. So I'm not surprised. Somehow would not surprise me if the gem was actually back in my room. But, since we haven't been in Mario's yet. Okay, not close enough to do that. Have a sword. We're just not gonna talk about the fact that apparently Mario just shit swords. Eh. I believe it at this point. I guess I'd believe the Peach one too, to be fair, at this point. They both seem incredibly believable. Need more fiber in their diet, good lord. I don't think fiber's gonna help break up a sword or a pearl. I thought it was on a out easier. Mushrooms have plenty of fiber. Also, I'm just kind of laughing at this right now. Oh, please tell me it's that simple. It is. Jesus Christ. It is. Oh, it's, it's not even the not. fucking... Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, I'm amazed that you managed to get away with it because that is not the solution. What it's is the, not. What is the solution? You had to Pull use the, the board plunger off. on the boards. You had to what? Oh, you had to plunger off the boards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember when I said the easy solution never seems to work for me? <laughs> fucking jeez. You're welcome, chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luigi's room's the only one on the left. Ow. Ah, the Proton John experience. You're welcome. We hope you're all enjoying it. Nice trick. Ole. I gotta get my own suitcase. Weird that it says I haven't even been in my own bathroom. I guess I haven't been in it since it became spooky. Gonna make me. No, not that. John, you had complimentary gold bars in your bathroom. I mean, they were invisible, though. I had to, I had to solve a puzzle. By most legalities, they're technically there. Just flush it down, Luigi! The 
so Peach shits pearls, Mario shits swords, and Luigi shits Bowser, apparently. spring arms. So, John, what's your experience using a flamethrower to mow the lawn? I would use a flamethrower to melt snow. That's what I would do. That would be fun. We've had a flamethrower topic brought up before. Also, flamethrower to mow your lawn is asking to start a wildfire. I guess it's yeah, wild. Here. So I don't think it's in here at this rate. What's left on the map I haven't been to other than that that banister? Because you said it's not out there. Where have I not checked? Well, first and foremost, because I haven't been doing it again. Doesn't close anymore? Okay. Speed. 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 Jesus Christ, guys! <laughs> <laughs> That's because it is. You are on the fifth floor. Well, it's only a five-story fall. No biggie. I was about to say, why don't I send Luigi out here? Then I realized it was raining. I actually have no choice but to send Luigi out. Go... This fucking murder mystery music we got going on here. Oh, never mind. I see why. That's a party, and Luigi's invited. Weird. Please no. Booter party. Booters. Booters everywhere. You killed them all. Uh, why is it still Good. playing that music? I definitely have already killed them. I think it just plays it in this room. Okay. There's spiders in this chest. Jesus. <laughs> I think they went a little overboard. <laughs> He's just like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Your options are a room full of spiders or a five story drop. Both of Luigi's favorite things. Where have we not been? Okay, so that chest we just that's open now. Okay, so yeah. I wonder. Nope. Bye bye. So it must be a room I didn't go back to. No, you you went into the room that the gym was in.
I don't see anywhere else to go here, so it can't be that. Color am I missing? Uh, yellow. All right. Uh, west wing or east wing? Uh, west wing. Shit. Just to speed this up a little bit. West. It's west. Okay, I want in Peach's room. A treasure in Mario's room, so you would think. You would think Luigi's would be the one. Is this another case where I'm not noticing something with a mirror? Uh. No. You want me to tell you which room? Uh, no, let's not go that far yet. Alrighty. I've only got three rooms to check, technically six. My guess would have been in Luigi's suitcase, but I don't seem to be able to grab it, so. Oh, look at this gym. How did that get in there? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. And there's a sign for us to stop playing the game, because I just realized it's almost three. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisy. He did it again. Well, our block doesn't have much in it right now, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty fast. I like to peer pressure him to play it more. Yeah, there's, there's like four entries in our block right now. Uh, five actually. So yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, f fuck off! I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm ransacking your hotel. Oh yeah. All right, back to Mario's. I got two treasure chests in here, though, so that's why I don't think it's... Wait a minute. Oh. Unless it's out in that area there, and I hope it's not. I already did this right. shenanigan the wrong way. Wait, hang on. There's our solution, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Didn't see the handle, but I saw it that time. All right, cool. And then we'll tap out there. Let's go back down to Egad's place. Once again, in the bathroom. Yeah. Can I point out that the ghosts seem to be stuck in the floor? Because they are still reading the newspaper. It is moving in the same cycle, so it's not a weird physics thing. They're flipping the pages. How do you do this? Teach me. <laughs> if I knew, I would bottle it and sell it. Really gonna tell a ghost where he can water. sit? I mean, I guess not, but how am I supposed to start a fight with him? Mario, 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 Erio. Oh. No, not Erio. Sorry. No. 
All right, here we go. So we can't do shopping yet, but now at least, ah. can drop these guys off. And we can see our gems. Now, admittedly, I do like the like this. It just kind of shows what you get all got, you got. Yeah. So we got all the basement ones, the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, and the fifth floor. I thought getting these showed off something. I thought it unlocked like a trophy or something you could look at. Am I thinking of Luigi's Mansion 2 again? Yes. Okay, so they don't do anything other than look nice in the display? I think they do something so. for the multiplayer stuff. I oh, I know what it is. There's a um there's special items down there. There's they're tied to a special item you get. Ah. Steward, Chambria, and Crawler. Alright, well then that's that. You were really bringing down the hammer on those hammers. All two of them. Okay, and with that, we're done. We'll continue this next Monday. All right, so that's gonna do it for the stream. We're gonna do the last little bit of art block, which is a couple pieces, so we'll get through that pretty fast. Uh, so let me give you guys a heads up what's going on on Wednesday. So Tuesday, which is I guess right now, somehow is the marker for me making content online for 15 years. Woo! So that's Woo. fucking crazy. Woo! So I figured, I was trying to think of what the hell we should do on Wednesday to kind of mark that being 15 years. And only one thing came to mind and only one thing made sense. So I figure we're going to do it anyways. On Wednesday, uh, at least at the start of the stream, we'll see how long it takes. I'm just going to play all of Superman 64. I'm just going to play through the entire thing on stream. I This doesn't negate the LP. This doesn't mean that there is no more episodes to the LP or me giving up. I just figured it might be nice for people to actually at least see the ending if they want to see it from my side. So I'm just going to do that for stream, and then we'll figure out what we're doing after that. All of it? All of it. Entire game. So yeah, that is Wednesday's stream. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, 1337 with a smiley face. Yusuf says, Tonight's stream has been surprisingly fun and relaxing to listen to while at work, especially because of the games, music, and you and the COCOM's energy. It's been a fun one. Nice and chill. Thank you, Yusuf, and thank you, COCOMs, for hanging out and being chill tonight. Mm -hmm. Even if all it was was just bad puns. You're welcome. And hey, don't rub me in that. <laughs> and complaining about them? There we go. All right. Sub-Zero says, I have found this great book. It's called Bizzard the Wizard and the Fall of... Oh, that one played fast. And the Fall of Sub-Zero? That normally doesn't play that fast. I was surprised. Yeah, that usually takes longer. There you go. Thank you, Sub-Zero. Uh, and as for eggs, I see PB Primo for 39, Excel Gamer for 22, Hala for 61, Maniacal Gift and a Sub to No Limit, Elo Boosted Animal for 43, The Leaf 473 for 50, Soleus Butterfly for 54, and WT Blaze for 51. Elo, since you asked earlier, um, I'm enjoying Luigi's Mansion 3. It's pretty fun so far. And my favorite moment is a Coliseum. Chaos Cookie's always a good time. Uh, TRG Makes Music was fantastic this year. Uh, Family Feud was a good time. I actually have to look at the schedule, try to remember everything. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah. That's my crowd jam. Control. Seemed fun. What? Crowd, oh, crowd. crowd oh, no. Control. I wouldn't call that as my favorite. <laughs> I was in that. <laughs> was I wouldn't mine. call it my favorite. Definitely my favorite. Yeah, no, that those are probably my highlights. TRG makes music and uh, Chaos Cookie. 
cool. All right. Anything in the carton to drop for eggs? We're using the rando. Rando. That are alive, you will give me an egg. I need to fix the volume on all of these. Why are they all wrong? My God. It's just been so long since we've heard them. They've gotten quiet. Pretty much. They're very shy, classic eggs. What is the plan between Banjo and Kahlo for the uploads for the channel? All right, so some people saw that on TRG's channel on Sunday, the bumper compilation went up. I don't know if this is happening tomorrow. I can, in fact, check this right now if you want. And since I've mentioned it out loud, I might as well just do that. Um, the original plan I heard was Sundays and Tuesdays are going to be VOD uploads from Coliseum, and Thursdays and Saturdays are going to be episodes of whatever playthrough we're doing. I think we're finishing Orange Juice before we go on to Banjo-Kazooie. And Orange Juice has three boards that have not been posted. As far as I'm aware of, that is the order of operations. Uh... And it looks like I am wrong. <laughs> and I'm glad I looked because it turns out, yeah, tier, uh, orange juice is going up, but it turns out it, they're just, they're currently scheduled for their normal times. Uh, tomorrow is an episode of orange juice, fungus cove board. Thursday is the same board and Saturday is the end of that. Wait, what? Oh, okay, sorry. Wait, what? Hang on. What the fuck has he got done here? You might be getting two OJ boards on Thursday? What's happening here? What? <laughs> uh, I think, so two, for some reason, uh, there are two videos scheduled for Thursday. I think one of them was supposed to be Saturday, because the next video after that is scheduled for Thursday. The, 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 there's four videos uploaded right now that have not been posted. One is tomorrow, one is Thursday, another is Thursday, and then another is the Thursday after that. So I don't know what the fuck's going on with these uploads. I wonder if they're just getting uploaded now, because there's also no thumbnail for, for the fourth video. So I wonder if I just jumped in here when Emil was actually getting them all set up. But either way, yeah, it looks like OJ goes up tomorrow, uh, and then maybe next week is when the actual Coliseum section sections start going up. Now I know the local recordings for the West Coast or sorry, the East Coast houses are not going to have any lag and any hiccups like they did on the stream. The West Coast ones, I think, are just the vods, which will have hiccups. So unfortunately, some of the segments are going to have hiccups no matter what. It's also possible, and I'm not sure, that the segments that I did, Chaos, Fortune Cookie, and Sugar Rush, that go up on the TRG account, may have hiccups that were not there on the one that I recorded locally, so just be warned of that. I don't- I assume Emil is gonna fix that double episode. But it looks like, uh, yeah, if he doesn't, you're getting the start of a board and the end of a board. Or rather, the end of a board and the start of a board uh, on Thursday. So, we'll see if that gets changed. Let's go to our block and let's close out the stream. It's our block's supposed to end. Eh, it has to end, because it's almost 3 a.m. my time. I'm supposed to be not going this late on uh, on the weekdays. It's the weekends I'm allowed it's to go like this late. It's almost 4. Go to bed. I know you're tired. Go to bed. We're almost done. Golden says, not sure why they retconned this, but in the ending for Dark Moon 2, uh, Polterpup actually had pupils in his eyes. Or sorry, yeah, Dark Moon slash 2. Polterpup had pupils in his eyes. Tried my best to give it a ghostly glow. Anyways, I'm home after helping a friend move to a new place, and what a way to unwind by watching you go through my favorite Luigi's Mansion game and playing Castlevania games. Funny how you mentioned Luigi had a bit of a Belmont strut as I was playing Symphony of the Night. Anyways, I wish you all a good, hopefully bad, ghost and ghoul free night. Nice. Thank you, Golden. Gonna ping him about it? Yeah, I'll probably ping him later. But I'll, I'm gonna log into the account again tomorrow and just see if... Because, I, like I said, the fourth video doesn't have a thumbnail. I'm assuming I might have caught him in the middle of updating. Or he's just gonna finish updating it tomorrow. Zoom. Clue. 
from Daisy and Chibi. It's elementary, my dear Egg. John Real uh, showing off her detective skills and being able to solve the game of Clue in five rounds. Egg is just amazed. A while back, John played Clue for SNES for game clearing, and this is reminding me of how much I loved playing the board game with my mom, but she really loved mystery games and shows, so she was able to actually deduce who murdered Mr. Body pretty quick. I can never win against her, but that was fine because of that. She, uh, she passed on her love of mysteries to me. I love good mystery, but I get mad when they tease a mystery and you don't get to play along. Uh, I, I get you on that. That sucks. P.S. Colonel Mustard in the lounge with a revolver. Probably. Nine out of ten times. Thank you, Daisy and Chibi. I like that she even got the fucking Sherlock Holmes style hat. Nice. Next up, here's what Biken looked like in the first Guilty Gear. If you remember that picture we showed of her current look. When you said Biken was different in Guilty Gear 1, you did not exaggerate. That is correct. I did not. And again, to show the difference, if you did not see this earlier, uh, this... This is what she looks like now. <laughs> so, uh... Slight difference. Just, just a... Just a teeny bit. Yeah, she lost an eye. Oh no, she's missing the eye in this one too. Yeah, she's never had that eye. Yeah. Well, she's she missing, eye she's missing the arm and the eye, but yeah, like the, the hair is covering up the fact that the eye's missing. Her hair got poofier. Her hair definitely got poofier. She got a lot more volume, dyed it a little bit more, uh, more pink. A nice eye patch. Next up from Angels in the Window, this is basically accurate webcam. This is what I see whenever Bigel decides to bug you. He bored. On a side note, I have heard that sometimes when cats refuse to use their litter box, it might be the type of litter you use. They either don't like the smell or the texture of the litter. Or like one of our cats uh, wants the litter box cleaned every single time. It's used no matter uh, if it's them or the other cats using it. We'll pretty much poop right outside the litter box if not completely clean. That isn't every cat though, some are just plain stubborn. Oh, uh, so no, with Bagel, it is 100% the fact that if he can go outside, he will do that. He refuses to use a litter box inside unless he cannot go out at all, and he will fight and complain to try to go out. So he probably did use a litter box and I didn't notice. But yeah, anytime, like, the only time he'll use a litter box is, like, when it's ice cold and he can't go out. But he will try his damnedest to go out. So that's what it is. And the last one I've got here... Ooh, the lamp. Personified. Her hair and eyes can change color. I thought it'd be fun to draw a humanized form of the lamp. I went with a mermaid-style dress since I think it fits the swirled base of the actual lamp. It's hard to see, but the transparent fabric had some texture to it. I forgot to mention she has earpieces similar to Reploids and Mega Man X. Ah, nice. Cute design for it. I like it. I, I actually was getting, like, Sailor Moon Princess Serena... Or, sorry, Princess Serenity vibes off of this, so... Nice look. Thank you, Rosie. And with that, I do believe we're done So, Yep. Let's go. It's late. Folks, what's our raid message? You already know the schedule for the week. I'm playing Superman 64 on Wednesday for some fucking reason. <laughs> uh, Saturday's fortune cookie. I think I'm back on top down perspective on Thursday. I think. I'm busy with stuff otherwise. Bean. I see Spin, Mario. He angie. He angie's also a good one. Uh, I'm gonna say no to Luigi's massive goo. <laughs> just, just gonna say no to that. When will you do Power Trip again? So Power Trip was supposed to happen like, was it two weeks ago? And then there was a big schedule fuck up. Uh, so it will likely be next Wednesday? Why am I hesitating on that? What is bugging me about that day? I think... It's Xenoblade. No, not Xenoblade yet. I don't think Xenoblade's even gonna start till the end of the month. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the 30th. That's what I'm thinking of for a Wednesday that's planned. <laughs> Which I don't think we mentioned that either. But hey, remember, remember we were gonna do an Uno money match last year? Guess what the set date is now. <laughs> so that's happening later this month. <laughs> so this is gonna be an interesting month for Wednesday streams because we got Superman tomorrow, or sorry, on the 9th. Uh, we got Uno on the 30th, which leaves us two remaining in the month. And I had planned one of them to be a game clearing 
for February. Which means I guess I'm gonna put Power Trip in one of those two, which means this month ain't gonna have a cookie jar. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So, uh, probably the 16th will be Power Trip. Probably the 23rd will be game clearing for February. Or I might swap those just because it'd be weird to do the February stream on the 23rd of March. Uh, yeah, so either next week is either February Power Trip. Or sorry, f god damn it. February game clearing, which means Odd World Stranger's Wrath or if Reese is available, Mist. And the 23rd will be Power Trip. And then the 30th will be Uno. That sounds like a good schedule, which means I will forget it next time I mention it. Probably jot that down then. <clears throat> Ooh. Bonus streams? Bonus streams aren't gonna happen in March. They will start being planned for April onwards. That's just how it be. Uh, let's see if we can make a new friend. Actually, is anyone else playing Luigi's Mansion? What is our raid message? Ooh, someone else is actually playing Luigi's Mansion. But it looks like they're farther than us. Oh yeah, they are much farther. Uh, do you guys want to raid someone who's playing the game farther on? Ty Alate, Alate, Alate. They're playing Luigi's Mansion 3. They're on their third day of streaming it. Okay. This is where I want to. Oh, I know where she's at. I don't know if they're. Yeah, there we go. Can I turn this? There we go. Turn that off. I don't know how far in the game this is. Hello. Halfway? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. I, I wasn't going to an answer. I, I mean, I don't care. I mean, day three, I would have assumed raid. halfway what, at the very least. Is, we I honestly don't remember. I think it's roughly halfway. John raid no, I think you're right. What is Spain? Hello, everyone. I think that's a... <laughs> Welcome right. in. How Remember to go speed. What am I, my chat really speed. did get I'll see y'all on Wednesday. How is everyone? Night, Welcome everybody. In. If you haven't seen before, my name Bye. Bye. Damn it, I closed it. I was going to start playing the fucking basement horns instead. <laughs> <laughs>